Thank you, thank you, thank you. Glory to Jesus. Mm-hmm. Karibu sana, karibu sana. Uh, for tonight broadcast, I believe you're going to be blessed together. God is going to speak to us in a mighty way because God speaks. Now he has a word for us tonight. And I promise you tonight, we are going to have a time of prayer. We're going to have a time of prayer. So wherever you are, karibu sana, niambiko wapi, help me to share. Tag your friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, invite a friend. Mwambia karibu, tunangalia about a rejection tonight. A rejection. You cannot afford to miss this one. You cannot afford to miss this one. Ah, uh, Yes. <clears throat> we are talking about rejection tonight. Karibu sana. Naona watu wengi sana wameingia Samantha. Karibu sana Rebecca. Kafra Joseph. Karibu, karibu sana Mary Gadogo. Karibu sana Doris Mwangi. So many people. We are going to have a time of prayer. No nini. No nini no nini. Nyo kafi jema ni karibu sana. Watu bahari ni kanisiu. Getao. Naona watu wa itaithi. Watu wa UK wa maingia mapema sana. Nani se wateri. God bless you. Ma Jeff. Karibu sana Emma Kamande. Ah, Peter, karibu sana. <laughs> Abe Evangelist Michael. Help me to share tonight. We are going to have a time of prayer. We are talking. Yes, you're going to Albert, Joyce, Wodaya, Mary Wajiko. You're talking about rejection. Rejection. I to tangeria mabu mingi sana about rejection. Nini kinaleta rejection. How to deal with rejection. How to rebuke the spirit of rejection. Uh, mabu mingi sana. Yunis, karibu sana. Kwa hivyo, Tag your friend. I know what wengi sana wamekatariwa. Maybe kibiashara, maybe kidoa, maybe mabu wa mehusu kwao, maybe ni foundation za kwao, maybe ni mabu ya ritamu kwao, maybe ni majina yao. Kuna issue zimeleta rejection. Tonight, don't miss this one. Na itako kwa undani sana, tunangalia characters, paka kwa Bible, watu katha walipitia rejection, ninini walifanya. Arafu tuangalia life uvira watu wengi sana wamekatariwa. There are so many people wamejua. Kwa mana wamekatariwa. There are so many people that are struggling all because of rejection there are so many people ato mekatariwa kimaisha there are so many people kwa sabu mama kerikatariwa watu wa walikatariwa ato wea yae anakatariwa but I have a word for you tonight we are going to deal with that rejection we must deal with it once and for all tonight we are going to have a time of prayer we are going to pray in the spirit. We are going to rebuke re rejection. Whether niki biashara, whether niki feather, whether niki masomo, whether niki mahabu mingi sana tayatako. Na tutabari kwa hivyo tag your friend, call a friend, mwambia karibu sana, faithi karibu sana. Uh, I know there are so many people wame katariwa. Kuna watu wamoli katariwa kindoa, waliweleka wakafukuzwa. Watu gini wanegia kwenye relationship zina break. Tonight we are tackling those things. If kuna ote ya rejection, lazima inyamaze tonight. Mm. If kuna maneno walitamu kwa ya komu utakatariwa. If ni your former, you ni your ex, alisema hautawe yoleka, au hautawe yoa. We are dealing with that rejection. Haya mamu, if maybe uri katariwa hata before zaliwe. Uh -huh. This is your time now. We are dealing with that. So tag your friend. Help me to share. Alika rafiki yako mwambia tunashugulikia rejection tonight. Tunangalia mabuwabo na leta rejection. Kuwanzia kwa tumbo mtu wakizaliwa. Ata mtu sasa kiolewa. Wakati mtu wanasoma. Haya mabu tayateko kwa vizuri sana. Natangalia so many examples kwa baibu. So many examples kwa baibu. Manaka rejection kama vile majafu nasema it is real. Judy karibu sana Saudi <laughs> wasuka delito karibu sana tag your friend call your friend wachani tu natemu ya prayer wachani tuombe wacha tuombe watu wetu maybe our brothers our sisters wamekataliwa maybe si wewe maybe kuna your brother maybe kuna your relative amekataliwa wacha tumuombe wacha tumusaidie wacha tuombe hawa watu ambao wanaendelea hapa Agnes Kezia God bless you welcome all mother wa godhi Kenya karibu sana we are back <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm graced by the way. 
I'm still <laughs> unfolding Christ in the word of God. Tulisema kwamba Bible inaongea juu ya mtu mmoja Kristo. So each and every time you read Bible you're supposed to see Christ. Whether in Genesis 1, Genesis 2, Genesis 3, Leviticus, Songs of Solomon, Deuteronomy you're supposed to see Christ. So wherever you are karibu sana. Help me to share redemption is the topic tonight. Grace Mataria, Sarah Emery. Na wacha tu make kitu kimoja if uri katariwa you want to declare tonight watoto wako hawatakatariwa. If uri face rejection kindoa let's declare tonight watoto wako hawata face rejection very very important very important if maybe you face a rejection ki biashara watoto wako wasa face like that one let's deal with that one wacha tu sema kwamba enough is enough let's read the word of god let us be encouraged and be counseled by the word to do vile babu nasema to do how to deal with these issues so merry cafe karibu sana virginia kamau karibu sana tag your friend share to all those groups You can start a watch party. Wata tusaidie watu wengi sana. Watu wao na plan kujua kwa maana maybe mtu alikatariwa na mtu ambaye alikuwa amemwoa. Maybe bwana yako alikukataa akaoa mtu mwingine. This is the day. Alpha Teddy karibu sana. We are good, we are blessed. Uh, tonight we are here to silence the rejection. Patricia Bogo unasema kwamba you are tuned. God bless you. God bless you. Whoever you are, call your friend. Help me to tell what come come what come 20. Hey. Yes, I agree Agnes. Hii ni pepo mbaya sana. Hakuna pepo mbaya kama ya kukatariwa. Yes, by the way, unakatariwa una mpaka we mwenyewe <laughs> unajikataa. <laughs> Unakuna hot you call self rejection hata we mwenyewe unajikataa. Pastor Nick, God bless you. Priest Dika, hallelujah. How is Dika? <laughs> ah, Mungu akuinue sana. Catherine Wajiru, this is the time we are talking of rejection. The spirit of rejection tonight. Yoranda, karibu sana. Shiko kawabu. The spirit of rejection. We are dealing with it. We are rebuking it tonight. We are sailing singe tonight. I don't care mahari metoka mnange tutaangalia those foundations. Tutaangalia mabu wa Bwana leta rejection kuanzia pale kifamilia. Kuanzia hata mtu hajazaliwa. Tutaangalia hapo tutaona ki relationship bwana mtu anakataliwa. Adoa maisha ni bwana mtu anakataliwa. Bwana unakuta kwamba umesoma unakataliwa kikazi. Unakuta kwamba mtu ambaye hajasoma kama wewe, yeye ana qualify tu, wewe hauja qualify. What about this? What is this now? We are dealing with the spirit of rejection tonight. We are tackling this. Na tutaitambua kwa Bible, tutaangalia the courses eh, kwa dimension zote. Alafu hii brief tutakuwa na time of prayer. Tutakuwa na time of prayer na baba atatenda makubwa na maajabu. Hauta kataliwa timzia na kuacha anaenda kuchukua mtu mwingine suzi karibu sana Kenodia Lea Nyabura karibu from Kiamu Kiamunyi <laughs> Kiamunyi Lucy Mbugwa tuned from uh, FIFA uh, karibu sana Washington God bless you uh, Molemi hallelujah Nash ah uh, mama Kebwaz uh, Catherine Wazero ah uh, Irene anaambia kwamba akoroiro So call your friend tag your friend mwambie tumeingia mase tulikuwa mid term jana <laughs> kaori de kidogo watu na relax some of us but how you doing ita family na njoko ba wife ako hapo ah uh, mwambie karibu sana mwambie karibu sana uh, luce kageni luce kageni ah uh, that's it pastor nick yeah unakuta kwamba there are so many people they are bitter are we getting their suicide because of rejection kuna watu ambao hata right now kwa sababu walikataliwa na mtu na ni mtu mmoja aliwakataa tu au they were abused wakiwa wachanga because of that waleo wanakataa watu hata hawataki kuwaleka ile time wana proposiwa wanakataa that's because walikataliwa naona kana kwamba atakataliwa tena so they are they experience what you call the fear of rejection we must deal with this we must deal with the spirit of rejection Say of rejection and we must deal with the fear of rejection manake haya mambo yanaadabatana na don't forget ya kwamba ukuwa na the spirit of rejection unasikia kwamba wewe mwenyewe unaanza sasa hata wewe mwenyewe unaanza kukataa watu unakataa watu unaanza mpaka kukataa Mungu na mpaka wewe mwenyewe unajikataa 
Ibn Majin unakataa Mungu unakataa watu that's why watu wengine wanakaa wanataka kukaa kivyao hawataki kuongea na watu wanaona wao ni buri wao wao hawana kitu wanajichukia wanajiona wao ni hata hawezi fanya kitu hata wakiwa kabisha wanakoba tu itaanguka because of the spirit of rejection but tonight i have a word for you jesus christ was rejected on your behalf so that you may be accepted in him he's good to understand this he was rejected on your behalf ili wewe mwenyewe upate the favor upate the favor na tonight is your night in the spirit of rejection lazima i bow down in jesus mighty name hautakataliwa tena ha thank you thank you Herena God bless you. Kit siko God bless you. Help me to share, help me to share before we start now. Help me to share before we start. We have come at 2 minutes, come at 2 minutes or one. We start this topic the spirit of rejection. You cannot afford to miss this one. You cannot afford to miss this one. You cannot afford to miss this one. Yes. Hii ni topic imeguza watu wengi sana. Kuna watu wengi sana wanakataliwa, kuna watu wengi sana wamejikataa, kuna watu wengi sana wanangangana na rejection. Ba utangalie vile babu anasema about rejection. Utangalie watu ambao wamekataliwa kwa sababu hiyo vile walifanya. Na utangalie babu bwana analeta rejection. Maybe ulikasiku utakupenda kwako, maybe ulijikuta kwamba umekataliwa. Maybe your mother alikuwa anataka mtoto kijana akajifungua wewe msichana. Kuanzia hapo kwa sasa we have you have that rejection. Mimi wewe mimi wewe wewe mama kolo hako nataka kukupata ni ile mbibi alipata kwa bahati mbaya na because of that akakutukia hata kuanzia kuzaliwa kwako na ukizaliwa sasa unakuta kwamba you have hiyo rejection inakufuata mimi ulikataliwa na mwalimu akionyesha wewe ni bure hauwezi soma haujui kitu na kuanzia siku hiyo sasa wewe mwenyewe ukajikataa mimi ni maneno nalitamkoa unaweza unaambiwa wewe wewe hata si mrembo wewe unakaa tu hivyo fogodhari na because of that unaziona tu hivyo fogodhari but tonight i have a word for you i have a word for you i have a word for you in fact i love the book of ezekiel chapter number 16 i love ezekiel chapter number 16 there is a very interesting story and i go nyesha vile babu inasema inasema namna gani Inaongea juu ya Jerusalem. Na Jerusalem has been personified there. Na Mungu anasema kwamba through the prophet Ezekiel anasema aongee juu ya Jerusalem mambo ambayo yalifanyika mahali pale detestable things. Mhm. Ambayo mahali pale. Na akasema namna gani? Akasema juu ya Jerusalem. Akasema kwamba Jerusalem time ulizaliwa haukukatwa kitofu time ulizaliwa haukukatwa kitofu na sio hivyo Jerusalem time ulizaliwa nisikize hakuna mtobe alikuosha na maji na not only that time Jerusalem ulizaliwa hakuna mtobe alikupaka chumvi na akakufunika na zile nguo za utoto hata nilikuta kombo unagaragara kwenye damu yako ya kuguza, ya kuzaliwa In fact ulikataliwa ukatupanishwa na uko nje kwa shamba kwa field hivyo ndivyo Bible inasema Bible inasema kwamba wakati Mungu alikuwa anapita mahali pale akabia Jerusalem Jerusalem hautakufa utaishi I have a word for somebody tonight I don't care whether you have been rejected I don't care whether kuna foundation kwenu ya rejection I don't care whether you may inherit I don't care whether the rejection imekuja through wachawi kwa sababu hata wachawi wanatupia watu roho ya kukataliwa but I have a word for you Bible inasema kwamba Mungu asema kwamba time alipita pale akaona Jerusalem na kanena akasema kwamba utaishi alisema haitakufa although wanagaragara kwa damu although hawajakatwa kitofu although hawajaoshwa na maji although hawajapakwa chumvi although hawajafunikwa na nguo Mungu akasema kwamba hawatakufa let me tell you you are not going to die na yale mambo ambayo yamerekodiwa mahali pale they are very very important They are very very important manake haya haya jadiko tu yadiko hapana yana symbolic meaning yana symbolic meaning kuna vile sasa kiyahudi ni kwa nini walikuwa wanatumia chumvi wakati mtoto amezaliwa kuna symbolic meaning meaning about taiangalia bwana kuna semekana kwa hakufuniko na ile nguo ya utoto ilikuwa na symbolic meaning hiyo nguo na anybody ambaye hakuanda go hayo mambo it was a sign ya kwamba amekataliwa wakati amezaliwa so this was a sign 
Mwalimu wa Daro, praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. So this was a sign of rejection. Hayo mambo, na nitakuonyesha ya mambo. So just be there with me. Na tuangalia hayo vile anasimamia before tutamue kabisa kwa ndani. Na ongea juu ya Ezekiel na guzia tukidogo Ezekiel chapter number 16. Ah. <laughs> Pasa muridi na jua leo uko diaspora. <laughs> How are you doing? Unaendeleaje? <laughs> Nataka unisikize. So, wakati Mungu alipita pale kwa Jerusalem, akabia you are going to live, you are not going to die. Koma na angekufa na yale mambo alikuwa anapitia. Unaacha nikupetu mfano before nianze hii topic. Nikuonyesha kwamba kwa nini ameambiwa yale mambo. Ah. <laughs> Tio fasa ulinde nasema kwamba network huko ni mbaya sana. <laughs> ah, we are going to have a time of prayer by the way. We are going to rebuke the spirit of rejection. Naona watu wengi sana mwale wa kama wao wanasema ni victim. Ah, uh, but so many people nasema kwamba ni victim ya rejection. So many people hata wengine sikutaka kwao walikataliwa before wazaliwe mzazi alikataa yule mtoto hakuwa nataka kupata mtoto wa maybe alipata mimba akiwa high school na hiyo mimba kaitukia hata kajaribu kutoa ile mimba kuafya mimba you see ndio nasema kwamba mtoto mbaye amenganyaniwa au alijaribiwa kutolewa if hata preko kwa kanisa kuwa dedicated or aombewe au hiyo issue ishughulikiwe anaweza fuatwa na rejection anaweza fuatwa na rejection kwa sababu mzazi wake before amzae alimkataa so hiyo ni foundation mbaya sana inaweza leta rejection na it affect so many people kuna watu ambao wamekataliwa so that's what tunasoma pale Ezekiel chapter number 16 very important very very important maana kwa patu natabua na tuangalie what is the meaning of that ah uh, destag your friend help me to share watu saidia watu ambao wanataka kujiua watu saidia watu ambao wamekataliwa na na watu ambao ni fiance wao watu ambao wamekataliwa na watu ambao maybe walikuwa wamewaoa there are so many people right now they are bitter they are bitter yes they are, they are bitter by the way they are stubborn they are rebellious kuna mambo mingi sana yanafuata tutaangalia because of rejection. Now we are going to talk about high mambo kwa dani sana. So karibu sana, karibu sana wherever you are, karibu sana wherever you are. Haya mambo sitakimbia maana kana nataka nieleze vizuri sana alafu tuombe. Hata kiwa ni kunena na dimi. Hata <laughs> kwa tuna tafsiri hapa tutafsiri maana we need to deal with this. We need to deal with this once and for all. That's what I'm saying. Now now what we're going to read here. So many people they are victims by the way. Wamepitia hapa. I know kuna watu ambao hata walilepiwa na sikupenda kwao. And because of that wakachukia mpaka ndoa. Kuna watu ambao wameona vile mambo yanayofanyika kwao. Waliona kwamba vile mamake anatiritiwa na babake. Vile rechapo akajaruhiwa. And because of that Ah ya so many people na nakunisikiza there are so many people ambao tadil hapa tangalia issues mingi sana so get ready for this karibu sana wherever you are we tackle this kwa nani sana na tutabarikiwa so let's get started right now help me to share help me to share help me to share help me to share Fere John karibu sana, Anwe tena karibu sana. Tagu marafika mwa tano, kama 20 kama 50. Waambie wakuje tujibue Bible. Mbele tutaangalia na dimension ya Bible. There are so many dimensions by the way. But tutaangalia na dimension ya Bible, na dimension ya Bible. Tuangalie watu ambao likataliwa, Joseph alikataliwa na ndugu zake. Job alikataliwa na watu wa familia yao. Jephthah alikataliwa. There are so many people who may have got rejection but finally wamemalizia wakiwa promoted and I will tell you this ya kwamba hata ukuo likataliwa still you have a purpose alikuwa likataliwa still you have a destiny alikuwa likataliwa still you are going somewhere alikuwa likataliwa mm usijikatae we mwenyewe don't don't reject yourself Don't hate yourself. Don't be bitter. 
Because Jesus Christ. And let me tell you something. Ara before to answer. What one has a kukata? What one has a kuchukia? But ata what what a kuchukia? Mungu haja kuchukia. Ana se mahata wa ikuacha. Baka musho wa dahari. Ah yeah. I like this. So the spirit of redemption. We are going to deal with it. The spirit of redemption. The spirit of redemption. Mm. Watani hapo watu watambue watani tuwatambue kabisa watu wa Qatar watu wa Doha watu wa UK are you there are you there <laughs> anyway there are. and I say my preaching good I'm laying the foundation I have not yet started you can start hosa what part start what part there watch to say watu wengi vitu taweza this topic is vital very important very important kuna watu wengi sana right now hata mahali wako kwa nyumba they are rejected. Kuna watoto rejected. Kuna watoto wazazi walikufa. Watu ambao wamewalea, wamewakataa. So wana feel ya kwamba they are rejected. Watu wa oh, watu wa UK wako. Ay 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 ay. Are you fair? Are you fair? Yeah, Dorka sana sama kwamba watu wa UK ni mwaguzi wanaonyesha kwamba they are there. <laughs> Get ready for this. Get ready for this. Get ready for this now. Get ready for this. Baba katika jina takatifu la Bwana Yesu Kristo. Wewe ni Mungu wa haki. Wewe unatuweza, wewe baba huwa unatunenea. Nenea mioyo yetu, nenea nafsi zetu bwana. Kuna watu wanatufuatilia, kuna watu ambao watazidi kutufuatilia tukiongea juu ya roho ya kukataliwa. Kuna watu wengi baba Ah, wana feel kujua wanajiona kwamba ni bure wanaona kwamba hawawezi bwana tunapoangalia juu ya roho ya kukataliwa naomba baba kwa hii anga kukuwe na ukomozi Jehova go naomba baba kwa hii anga watu wakombolewe naomba baba kwa hii anga watu wakapona mio yao nafsi zao zikaponywe baba na neno rako maana neno rako baba lina nguvu neno rako lina uwezo fada let the spirit of rejection disappear ia chirie ndoa ia shirio watoto ia shirio wazee ia shirio familia bwana wale ambao wanajichukia wale ambao wanaona kama watajua wale ambao wanaona kama hawataiolewa wale ambao wanaona kama Jehovah hawataipata wachumba kwa maana they are rejected kwa maana foundation za kwao ni mbaya kwa maana kuna maneno walitamkwa kwa maana baba waliambiwa mambo ambayo hayafai Jehovah go i have come to reverse all those words i have come to silence all those waters i have come father to deal with all those powers in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of God to night let the Father chochote kimewapatanisha Jehovah God na rejection wacha baba raino hiyo kamba ikatike hiyo kamba ikatike hiyo kamba ikatike hiyo kamba ikatike i speak favor kwao natangaza kwa hii anga favor wanaposikiza Jehovah God wacha baba upokee favor wacha baba upokee favor if kuna wengine walimeushua na uchawi baba if kuna wachawi wameatiria rejection kwa watu baba na declare from now hiyo rejection may disappear but let there be let there be favor upon these people ah oh, jesus mighty name kibia shara kifedha kimasomo ushilionekane baba no more rejection tonight no more rejection from today no more rejection jehovah go natangaza they are going to be favored watakuwa favored watakuwa favored watakuwa favored ah ota zote za kukataliwa listen to me i break you in jesus mighty name ota zote za kukataliwa Hear my voice I break your powers now katika jina la Yesu Kristo foundation za kifamilia zinafanya watu wakataliwe ah I declare by the fire of God by the anointing of the Holy Ghost I declare Jehovah God these people are free they are free right now hata before to submit to Jehovah God they are free they are free Jehovah God hawatangangana tena kuna watu wamengangana kimaisha father kuna watu ambao wanalia kwa familia kuna watu ambao wanaomboleza father because of rejection but tonight 
tonight father wacha kuwa ni night jehova ya deliverance usiku leo kuwa ni usiku wa deliverance oh god wacha watu waolewe wacha watu wakawe baba wacha ndoa zikasimame wacha biashara zikasimame wacha maisha ya watu baba yakombolewe father let your power flow let your power flow let your power flow let your power flow Lord. let your power flow jehova god ushindi wako uonekane na nguvu zako zionekane baba tunakupa sifa tunakuinua kwa maana umetenda na utazidi kutenda katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na hata kuamini shout a big amen shout a big amen so karibu sana wherever you are tonight we are tackling the spirit of rejection Uh, na, na, na before hata ni divine what is rejection nataka kuangalia kovasa hapa kwa baibu in the book of ezekiel itakuwa ina to guide ezekiel chapter number 16 ezekiel chapter tag your friend call your friend help me to share what i feel kuna watu ambao Mungu anapanguza machozi yao tonight i feel it there are people that are crying they're weeping right now they are listening to me but they are weeping mana kama umekataliwa wamangangana kimaisha no mejaribu vile hili jambo litaondokea who knows that's why mungu ametuma na usiku leo papa sir for you who knows that's why the reason god ameona kwamba you need to hear this word kuja hapa kwa ajili yako So I'm reading the book of Ezekiel chapter number 16. Ezekiel chapter number 16. Anataka unifuata tu pole pole hapo. Nakuonyesha mambo bwana analeta rejection, natakuonyesha how to deal with rejection, natakuonyesha vile babu inasema, tuangalia characters watu kadhaa ambao wamepitia rejection na vile baba amewasaidia, vile baba amewapigania na ushindi wa mkono. So Ezekiel chapter number 16. Ezekiel chapter number don't miss this one, don't miss this one. Like this one is very important. Ezekiel chapter number 16 wherever you are welcome welcome thank you kwa watu ambao they're joining us mahali ulipo unatufuatilia niambie uko wapi just tell me wherever you are tutakurecognize whether we ni mtumishi wa Mungu tunapenda mpaka mtumishi wa Mungu we love them so much ah uh, so many people naona kwamba watu wengi sana wanazidi kuandika kwamba wanafuatwa na haya mambo angalia nao Ezekiel chapter number 16 Ezekiel chapter number 16 Let me start from verse number 1 Ezekiel chapter 16 verse 1 uh, nisome mpaka verse number 7 alafu nitaelezea mambo kadhaa before niingie kuudani Bible inasema kwamba the word of the Lord came to me a son of man confront Jerusalem with her detestable practices and say this is what the suffering Lord says to Jerusalem you are ancestral and by the way in the land of Canaan taka unisikize Jerusalem anambia kwamba mahali ulizaliwa ni Canaan mahali ulizaliwa ni Canaan na Canaan was a cast place very important to know that Canaan was a cast place manake Canaan origin yake Canaan babake alikuwa ni Ham na you remember Ham wakati aliona ucho babake then Canaan akaraniwa so Jerusalem anaambiwa namna gani ya kwamba mahali alitoka foundation yake ni Araana hivyo ndivyo anaambiwa hapa your father was an Amorite and your mother a Hittite Anambaye kwamba Bible nasema kwamba your father was an Amorite. Amorite alikuwa ni mtoto wa Canaan. Wakiwa na Hittite. Amorite na Hittite walikuwa sasa wote ni watoto wa Canaan. Get this now. So anatoka Canaan mahali mezaliwa Canaan. Na word Canaan means humiliation. Ni mahali sasa pa kuwa humiliated pa kuibishwa. Imagine. Alafu babake anaitwa nani? Amorite. Amorite means talkatif. Get that now. Alafu mamake ni Hittite. Hittite means fear. Okay don't miss this one now. on the day you were born your cord was not cut time ulizaliwa kitofu chako hakikukatwa hebu imagine wa mama bwana nisikiza hebu imagine ana mbona namna gani kitofu chake hakikukatwa kelat kitofu chake hakikukatwa Jerusalem kitofu chake mimi alikuwa connected na mama yake if kitofu hakijakatwa anaambiwa ako connected sti na mama yake very very important ha, abu nifuatilie hapa 
On the day you were born, your cord was not cut, nor were you washed with water to make you clean. Au kuwashwa na maji. Au kuwashwa na maji. Aha. And were, <laughs> nor were you rubbed with salt or lapped in clothes. Verse 5. No one looked on you with pity or had compassion enough to do any of these things to you. Rather, you were thrown out into the open field. For on the day you were born, you were despised. Imagine, ile siku ulizaliwa, ulikataliwa, ulitarauliwa. I look no watu mo hapo na jiona kumba. Since time ulizaliwa, ulikataliwa. Tutangalia haya mambo. Then, by kwenye sema nama gani? Angalia verse number six. Then I passed by. Oh, I like that verse. Mungu akiongea na sema kumba. Then I passed by. Then nika pita hapo. Tonight. Tonight is your night. Baba manapita kwa your situation. Baba manapita kwa your hali yako ya redaction. Baba kapita mahali ya likuwa metupua. So mungu akamlocate. Kwa that field alitupua. Akamlocate. Akapita hapo. Akamuona. Mahali ya likuwa mahali ya liachua kufe. Mahali ya liachua. Aki uhaja fanyua kiri ya matu likuwa nafa kufanyua. Aliachanisho hapo. Iri ya kufe hapo. Mungu akapitia hapo. Aka sema na muna gani verse number six. Then I passed by. I like that one. I passed by. And so you kicking about in your blood. You kicking about in your blood. As you lay there in your blood, I said to you, I said to you, leave. Leave. Ishi. Mungu alipopita. Although there was that he would put a nisho, he would put a nisho na uko ikufe. Mungu wakatiria prophetic word. Nagasama kwamba, leave. Ishi. Mimi kuna watu nimekuja kuambia before hata tutako mambo ya redaction nimekuja kuambia watu hapa your family is going to leave your business is going to leave watoto wako they are going to leave maisha yako yata leave again you can live again hata after kukataliwa you can live again hata after kukopoteza hiyo kazi you can live again so Jerusalem will be leave today have this word utaishi tena kuna kuishi tena my brother after kukataliwa. Kuna kuishi tena after kudharauliwa. Kuna kuishi tena after kusema mambo mabaya. Kuna kuishi tena after kufuatwa na mambo ya kwenu. Kuna kuishi tena usijiue. Kuna kuishi tena God loves you. Watu wanaweza kukataa but Mungu haja kukataa. Leave my brother. Leave my sister. I declare prophetically may you live. Ishi tena. May God revive your soul again. Manake Mungu anafanya haya mambo. So, Jerusalem Mungu akasema namna gani? Leave. Maybe Jerusalem ilikuwa na kombo itakufa. But Mungu akatangaza neno la kuishi. Maana kuna watu wabona na kana kombo wataisha. Kuna watu wabona na kana kombo watoto wataisha. But imekuja na neno moja usiku wa leo. Leave now. Ishi tena. Maana kuna ishi. Follow me. Bible na sema naga ni leave verse number 7 I made you grow like a plant of the field I like that Remember alikuwa ametupa kwa field kwa sababu amekataliwa Bali Mungu akamkuta kwa that field amekataliwa kwa that field of rejection Mungu akakuta Jerusalem pale akaiambia leave then akaifanya it grow akafanya Jerusalem it grow <laughs> kwa field ya kukataliwa God made Jerusalem to grow in that field of rejection. Manake tunaini you need to understand in the field of rejection you can still grow. <laughs> Who am I prophesying tonight? In the field of rejection you can still make it again. In the field of rejection there are so many people to make their testimony zao. Walikataliwa, wakajipia nguvu. Wakajua wao ni nani dadi ya Mungu? Wakajua the reason why they were born. Unisikize? Hakuna mtu ambaye amezaliwa kwa bahati mbaya. Get this. As long as you medhaliwa, kuna sababu yako ya kuzaliwa. Whether ulizaliwa nje ya doa, whether ni ndani ya doa, whether ulizaliwa na ukahaba, whether ulizaliwa na na mambo mambo, whether ulizaliwa na na your brother, jia mbaya. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, skiza. Wacha kujiona na haya mambo. Maana you need to understand as long as you medhaliwa, there is a purpose for you. There's a purpose for you. You have a purpose. I don't care either Jerusalem or now there's a purpose. 
Usini unaweza release pasa. What about wale ambao walizaliwa na mambo ya incense? Yes, atukulizaliwa na incense. Nisikize. There is a purpose for you. Unaniambia pasa, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Because Perez alizaliwa na incense. Na bado Mungu alifanya succeed. So wacha kukua lao past yako. Imani pray to your present na your future. Concentrate. Concentrate na who you are. Know who you are. Live again in that field mahali Jerusalem litupwa Mungu alipita akasema live na akafanya grow in that field Leo nimekuja kutangaza one thing mahali umetupanishwa you are growing again <laughs> I'm just laying the foundation I have not started I'm laying the foundation kidogo Look at this Look at this I made you grow like a plant of field you grew up and developed and became the most beautiful jewel. Yaani yule ambaye alikataliwa Mungu akaingilia kati nisikize Mungu akaingilia kati although alikataliwa although Jerusalem ilikataliwa Mungu akaingilia kati akafanya grow na akawa beautiful. Can I tell you somebody God can beautify you. <laughs> God can beautify your family again. God can beautify watoto wako again. Ah, in that field baba anaweza fanya grow na ukue beautiful again. So nataka sasa unisikize sasa. Nataka unisikize. Na yote ambayo nasikiza my voice, you have a purpose to live. You must serve the purpose of God in your direction. Refuse to die at ukomekataliwa. That's because kuna mtu ambaye alikataa kukua that's not the end of you. Let me tell you that may be that that one may bring another beginning in your life. Who knows kana kwa sababu Mungu ameona kwamba hamtawezana akakuondolea. Very very important. Na ni vyema sana kuona na dimension nyingine in accordance with the word of God. So kuna mambo before nianza nataka tu handle pale. Manake Mahali tumesoma ni kesi ya Jerusalem. Na kuna mambo Mungu ametaja juu ya Jerusalem pale. Nataka tuangalie kwa those days alikuwa anasimamia namna gani. Kadis. Kitu ya kwanza Jerusalem ameambiwa ni ya kwamba time ulizaliwa. Kadis now. Time ulizaliwa. Hakuna mtu ambaye alikuosha na maji. Kali maji. Hakuna mtu ambaye alikuosha na maji. Why that? Meaning alikuwa na uchafu imagine mtoto amezaliwa hajaosho akona ule uchafu wa kuzaliwa Maji speaks of the want of god manake kila mtu anafaa kujijua kuligana na neno la bwana and get this if you want to know yourself constitution yako ni word of god bible is your constitution let the word of god clean you Neno la Bwana ni maji. Jiangalie kwa neno la Bwana. Wacha kujiangalia na mira ya watu. Sababu so many people kiliko na wasumbua ni kujiangalia na vile watu wanasema, ati watu wameniambia ni bure. Watu wananiambia mimi 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 nakaa kukaa maskini. Hiyo ni mira ya watu wengine. The word of God is our mira. Jiangalie na neno la Bwana. Neno la Bwana litakuosha. Neno la Bwana ni maji. So Jerusalem time alizaliwa hakukatwa kitofu, hakuoshwa na maji. Meaning alikuwa still connected na mambo ya kwao. Maneka kitofu hakikukatwa, alikuwa still connected na mambo ya kwao. I know there are people listening to me. They are still connected na family ties. Tonight I have come to declare any tire rejection whether your mama alikataliwa na your dad whether your mama alikataliwa you know kama kuna watu ambao they know they are struggling kwa maana wakati baba yao alikufa walifukuzwa kwao hata mali yao walipokonywa walikataliwa na mpaka wa leo unakumbuka hilo jambo unaona kwamba kabisa umekataliwa una that tie na kusumbua today I have come to break that cord any tie connecting you na rejection na i break Any family tie inaleta rejection kwako hiyo kwanza nimeikataa katika jina la Yesu Kristo maana lazima Jerusalem ikatwe kitofu lazima ikatanishwe na tie za kwao Kuna watu wao wanasikiza problem those ties yale mambo alifanyikia kwao yale mambo alifanyikia your grandfather kwa maana grandfather grandfather 
hakukaa kindoa hakusimamisha ndoa kwa maana your grandmother alikataliwa the same same time na kufuata so aliambia kwamba haukukatwa kile kitofu haukuoshwa na maji neno la bwana haukufundishwa neno la bwana ujijue in accordance to the word of god in, in fact let me tell you the word of god reveals you The word of God reveals you. So ukitaka kujijua jijue in the word. Get this. Jijue in the word. Look at this now. Ili niingie pale kwa undani kuna mambo makwaza nataka kuangalia pale. Wacha niangalie kitu very important hapa. Get this. Kwa nini mtoto alikuwa anafungwa zile nguo za utoto? Kwa maana Jerusa anamwambia kwamba au kufungwa zile nguo za utoto? Umuhimu wa nguo za utoto ni nini? Get now. In those days, si tukufungwa tu zile nguo tunajua na hapana. Kuna ile nguo ilikuwa inatandikwa mahali pale. Then mtoto anawekwa diagonally wakati amezaliwa. Anainamishwa pale diagonally. Get this now. Then after this after that kuna vile sasa ile nguo sasa ile leso kuna vile ilikuwa inamfunika ni kufunika kuna maneno mzazi ilikuwa anatamka juu ya yule mtoto hii ni kati ya Kiyahudi kuna vile mzazi alikuwa anatamka maneno juu ya yule mtoto that was a sign that was a sign kwamba amekubali yule mtoto na, na, na alikuwa anatangaza kwamba yule mtoto atakuwa anatangaza mambo mazuri sana Na that was a sign prophetically ya kwamba mtoto ako na security vile amefunikwa that was a sign ya kwamba mtoto ako na security so kukosa hiyo nguo is a sign ya kwamba shule mtoto alipozaliwa alikataliwa hakupewa security hakutangaziwa maneno mazuri that's why i always say this ni vyema sana wakati mtoto amezaliwa declare maneno prophetic juu ya mtoto maana wewe you are the prophetess or prophet of the house you are the priest of the house you are the pastor of the house huyo mtoto before mpeleke hiyo pastor unafaa wewe mwenyewe kutangaza maneno ya kiunabii tangaza maneno juu ya mtoto before watu kuja kuleta laana zao na uchai wao tangaza mambo ya kiunabii pale So that, was, that was the reason why ile nguo ilikuwa inafunika ule mtoto as a sign ya kwamba amekubalika ako na security That's why walikuwa na kuna kitu kingine very important aliambiwa hapa get this now ya kwamba time ulizaliwa haukupakwa chumvi haukupakwa chumvi nisikize time ulizaliwa haukupakwa chumvi why chumvi Nilisema kwamba in those days there was a sort covenant there was a sort covenant na the reason why mtoto alikuwa anapako chumvi <laughs> ay 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 kuna watu bwana niambia true pastor yes i'm laying the foundation i'm laying the foundation don't miss this one don't miss this one now tag your friend ita rafiki akomwambia karibu sana tusome pamoja Maana kuna mambo tunaenda kuyachambua tonight very 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 deep very deep now very deep So akamwambia kwamba haukumwagiliwa chumvi Chumvi ilikuwa ina purify mtoto ilikuwa ina protect the skin of the child So salt ilikuwa inatumika to purify mtoto na to protect the skin ya mtoto from the harsh environment Na still salt was a sign of covenant Naomba unajua kwa Bible in Bible days you understand salt ilikuwa inatumika kwa jamii mingi sana ilikuwa inatumika for healing for purification for continuity na for royalty ilikuwa inatumika hivyo for royalty continuity purity and healing preservation ilikuwa inatumika so yule mtoto hakupakwa chumvi so hakuingizwa kwa covenant That's why unasema kwamba it is very important. Alikuwa mtoto hajazaliwa. Anza kutangaza maneno kina bibi before azaliwe. If amezaliwa, kwa unamtabiria mambo mazuri, ate kuwa na kunywa pombe, tangaza maneno mazuri juu yake. Prophesy juu yake. Sema ate kuwa na kunywa pombe. Huyo lazima ataendelea. Very important. Muingize kwa covenant. Get this. Mpeleke kwa church. Wacha um dedicate that's why I always advise watu peleka ya kwa church 
atambebe sacrifice enda nayo kwa church mahali unaenda itoe papa sir kwa ajili ya huyo mtoto mdedicate kwa ota nilisema the word train in hebrew means to instruct or to dedicate enda mpeleke pale kwa ota mconnect na ota hiyo ota itamtetea i will show you that i was very important that's why tonight nakuja sasa kwa topic yangu the spirit of rejection the spirit of rejection now who is the rejection nagao nisikize what is the rejection according to dictionary to a summary rejection it is to, to reject is to refuse to grant that person recognition or acceptance it is to refuse to grant that person recognition or acceptance but now the word rejection comes from a latin word the word rejection comes from a latin word and that word means to be thrown back to be thrown back kurushwa na uko nyuma au nje meaning wakati we facing rejection rejection huwa inakurudisha nyuma it throws you back inakurudisha nyuma manake kuna mtu ambaye amekukataa amekataa kukubali amekataa kukurecognize now because of that hiyo rejection kile inafanya spiritual na physically inakurudisha nyuma that's why the latin the origin of the rejection imetoka from a latin word na that latin word means what to throw back ak to reject in latin means to throw back so ukikataa mtu unamrudisha nyuma unamtupanisha na huko nyuma unamtupanisha na huko nje that's why so many people ambao wana face rejection unakuta kwamba inakurudisha nyuma whether ni kikazi kimeisha whether ni mentally i know kuna pastor what about me na niko born again what about this na niko born again nataka unisikize let me tell you something you are born again in your spirit na watu wengi sana wanasema natakiwa shetani aki attack and attack your soul na nataka tuangalie mambo kadhaa nataka tuangalie mambo kadhaa hapa we need to understand about rejection manake unaweza kuwa rejected unaweza kuwa na spirit ya rejection ukataliwe na wewe ujikatae i have now from there ukuwa na fear ya kukataliwa get that we have the spirit of rejection get this self rejection and fear of rejection ukikataliwa unajikataa na unaogopa sasa kukataliwa that's mtu ambaye asawa ikataliwa unless hiyo wound ikuwe healed unless sore yake kuwa restored atakuwa na that fear any time anaingia kwa relationship if alikataliwa anawoga anaweza kataliwa tena if if she was abused whether verbally physically or spiritually anaweza hiyo kitu inaweza mu affect na ukute kwamba not only ni spirit of rejection but still anaogopa kukataliwa kwa maisha yake na unisikize na kuna mambo nataka u understand very important kuna watu aina tatu kuna watu aina tatu kuna watu ambao they are rejected wamekataliwa kuna watu ambao they are rejecting themselves wamejikataa kuna watu ambao wamekataliwa kuna wengine ambao wamejikataa na nimesema kwamba kuna watu ambao they are fearing to be rejected kuna wengine wanaogopa kukataliwa so kuna watu ambao already wamekataliwa kuna watu ambao wamejikataa kuna watu ambao wanaogopa kukataliwa so unaweza fit any anywhere unaweza kutoba maybe watu ambao wananisikiza hapa maybe we umekataliwa maybe unaogopa kukataliwa oh maybe we mwenyewe umejikataa very important Mama wa karibu sana. Leo we are rebuking the spirit of rejection. 
But then we have family rejection. Kuna toba na kataweona na family na watu wa familia. Kuna social rejection. Unaweza kutoka bao mekataliwa na watu bao mkona wao. Kuna rejection in relationship. Na tutataka all those. But now let me just say this foundation today. Nisikize sasa. Nataka kuangalia case example moja alafu tuangalie mambo kadhaa the causes of rejection. Tuangalie case example moja hapa very important. Kwa undani hapa. Kuna sisa bana anaitwa Lea. Kila mtu anamjua Lea. Get your Bible one. Genesis 29. Genesis 29. Before to kuja kuangalia the causes of rejection, the effect of rejection and how to deal with rejection. Angalia Genesis 29. Angalia Genesis chapter number 29. Genesis chapter number 29. Ah yes. Genesis chapter number 29. Ah, twenza verse number 21. Wala bwana ingia karibuni sana we are laying the foundation Verse number 21 the Bible says Then Jacob said to Laban Give him my wife my time is completed and I want to lie with her and I want to lie with her So Laban brought together all the people of the place and gave a feast Verse 23 But when evening came he took his daughter Leah and gave her to Jacob and Jacob lay with her verse 24 Laban gave his servant girl Zilpah to his daughter as her maid servant verse 25 When the morning came <laughs> there was Leah Anyone who understand but remember the story of Jacob Jacob time alikuwa ameenda kwa Ah, mjobake Laban Laban alikuwa ni brother wa mamake. Mm. Jacob alikuwa na 77 years na hakuwa ameoa. Alikuwa amechelewa kwa sababu that time Esau already alikuwa ameoa bibi wawili. So Jacob alikuwa na miaka gapi? Ah, 77. Imagine. Na hakuwa ameoa. <laughs> Imagine mtu wa 77 na hajaoa. Then <laughs> akatumwa na babake aende sasa kwa mjobake Laban akaoe na akaenda but before fika kwa mjobake kuna kile kisima alikutana na recho recho na akapenda recho so na kiende sasa kwa mjobake sasa alikuwa anatamani kwa mata wa recho na kwa nini walikutana na recho remember kati ya lea na recho lea ni alikuwa mkubwa Let's work home dogo. But the story is very interesting kwa sababu Bible nasema kwamba <laughs> Leo alikuwa na problem ya macho. Macho yake alikuwa na issue. Na because of that, that's why Rachel ndiye alikuwa anaenda kuchunga kondo instead of Leah. So number one nataka uangalie hapa kuna problem hapa na Yona. Kuna problem ni hana hapa nao. Problem bobo na inaiona hapa kubwa sana. Ni, ni Laban. Nataka unisikize hapa tafadhali. Ni Laban. Laban amempata hawa watu wasichana wake wawili, analeana na Rachel. Watu wake ni wawili. Jule ambaye mkubwa ni Lea. Are we together ni Lea? But now look at this. <laughs> Sasa kuna sema kwamba mtu 77 ati watu walikuwa wamebarikiwa. Bana nataka unisikize. So wakati alibarikiwa na huyu msana ambaye anaitwa Lea, akampea jina Lea. I don't know what provoked Laban na akapea msana wake hii jina Lea. Maana Lea is a, is not a good name in Hebrew. The name Lea in Hebrew si jina mzuri. Maana the name Lea means where are kuchoka. Hebu imagine kuita mtoto wako kuchoka. Maybe 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 to me this is me now maybe no no maybe ni vile sasa alizaliwa na kana kwa haka katatu kana problem ya macho toka kama itakuchoka imagine mtoto ameito kuchoka 
So kumaanisha Lea alikataliwa kuanzia kuzaliwa kwake. That's why hangetumo mpaka kuchunga kondoo na ni yeye mkubwa kuliko recho. Na nakataliwa because ana weakness ya macho yake. Weakness ya macho yake inafanya kataliwe. Jina yake ni mbaya. Ameitwa jina ya kuchoka. Jina mbaya ya kuchoka. Na ni babake amempea jina. Na remember in the Bible majina yalikuwa prophetic. Na majina yalikuwa naitanishwa kulingana na ile hali mtu amepitia. And I believe maybe 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 mama yake alichoka sana au alipitia mambo magumu sana. That's why alipojifungua Lea, Lea kaitwa kuchoka. Na wacha kwanza ni nene watu ambao tuko na hao wananisikiza. Majina yanabeba nguvu kubwa sana. Na watu ambao wananisikiza ni vyema sana. Hata ukinemu mtoto wako au umekuwa named na jina mbaya au yule ambaye umeitwa alikataliwa elewa ya kwamba kuna maroho yanafuata majina demons inafuata majina i remember kuna satanist mmoja kuja tukamfanya deliverance after deliverance akasema kwamba yeye hey, alikuwa na operate akaona sikize alikuwa na operate kwa marine spirit na alikuwa queen of the sea na kazi yake ilikuwa ni kuangalia ile jina mtu ameitwa alafu anaona kwamba kana kwamba kuna kitu kilikuwa kinafuata yule mtu then after that nisikize after that anafuatanisha anahakisha kwamba ile jina imefuata mtu so meaning in the kingdom of darkness kuna demons na kuna maroho ya kuassigned kufuata maana ya majina that's why it is very important ile jina umekuwa named ni vyema sana kutitanganisha na useme kwamba yule mtu ambaye nimekuwa named after hiyo roho haitanifuata Follow me closely. Na wale ambao wamenifuatilia nimesema sana miongea sana about majina. Vile yanabeba yanabeba nguvu sana. Na nikasema kwamba that's why ene mtoto kwa Bible alikuwa prophetic. Ni Mungu alikuwa anampea jina. So let me give a very good example of Rachel. Wakati Rachel alikuwa most kufa na kapata Benjamin. Alikuwa anamuita mtoto wa Soro, son of my Soro. Barbabake kwa maana alikuwa anajua jina ya jina. Remember already alikuwa amebadilishiwa jina yake Jacob akaitwa Israel. Akasema huyu mtoto hataitwa son of my sorrow, ataitwa son of my right hand Benjamin. Ni Jacob alisimama aka change jina. Benjamin hako amepoa jina Benjamin. Alikuwa amepoa son of my sorrow. Na kuna watu wengine today there is on why wanakataliwa. It is because of their names. Kuna majina yanabeba rejection. Follow me closely. Kwa maana yule mtu ambaye umekuwa named after alikataliwa. Oh maana ya jina yako inabeba kukataliwa. There are people ambao wana face rejection because of their names. But tonight and the prophetic anointing of God and apostolic anointing I want to declare tonight ya kwamba if jina yako iko connected na rejection I break that connection in the name of Jesus Christ if jina yako iko connected na fearia I break that connection and I declare jina yako to may break from now in Jesus name Hebu maji ni kuitwa Lea Maji Lea Lea means weary. Lea means means faint. Kuanguka, ku faint. Ku faint, imagine. Ku faint, kuanguka. Lea means impatient. Huyu ni mtu ambaye anaweza oa hata before muogea ametoroka na ameenda. Manake jina lako inamaanisha kwamba hawezi tulia, hawezi gotea, hawezi tulia. Ako impatient. <laughs> Manake jina lea means impatient. Huyu mtu ambaye unaweza kuwa na yeye akiweka biashara na aguka maana yake jina yake inamaanisha kuaguka faint Lea means faint kuanguka so nataka tutambue vile Lea ni face rejection kuanzia utoto wake kuanzia kupewa jina yake kuanzia kupewa assignment kwa nyumba yeye ye, ye, yule ambaye anapewa ni yule mdogo yeye mkubwa kwa sababu ako na that problem eh hakuwa natumwa na unusikize hapa So the name Lea means to be grieved, to be grieved. Ni mtu ambaye angefuatwa na grief sana. Hasira, imagine. Kirio. 
Tumbani wa kuomboleza. Tumbani wa kuomboleza. Let me surprise you. The name Leah also means to be offended. To be offended. Imagine the name Leah ina maana hizo zote. Weary, faint, impatient, to be grieved or to be offended. To be offended. So, ni mtu ambaye anaweza kuwa offended sana. Ha, ni mtu ambaye sasa unaweza sikia kwamba anakabia <laughs> biashara inaanguka na problem ni jina yake. Ha? Imagine. What about your name? Usawa itabilia jina yako vizuri. Inaweza kuwa by the way sikizi inaweza kuwa inamaanisha vizuri sana. Sisi so, tunajua hata Mary alizaa Jesus tunaelewa kwamba na jina Mary means bitter or rebellion the name Mary in Hebrew, in Greek in Greek actually the name Mary in Hebrew is Mariam That's it That's it tonight lazima tuchambue haya mambo sema kwamba enough is enough Are we together now are we together <laughs> well, well, I'm going to have <laughs> so now look at this now. So kwanza tumeangalia jina yake. Then not only jina yake ni problem, but it's still alikuwa na problem ya macho. Na kuna watu ambao wanajichukia kwa sababu maybe wanaona kana kwamba wana weakness. Maybe una anaona kana kwamba mtu fulani anaona kwamba ana disability. Unaona kwamba mimi sikio yako haikai vizuri. Maybe Nilisema kwa watu wengine hapo nilisikiza nikasema kwamba kana kwamba ni watu wengi today walikuwa na qualify kuwa kuhani wa Old Testament wage kubali kwa sababu kuhani wa Old Testament lazima pua ingekuwa refu. Eh, Wazungu wange qualify sana. Mungu alikuwa anataka watu ambao wana mapua marefu hivi. Imagine pua refu hivyo. Na watu warefu kama Kevas ndio ambao wange qualify kuwa priest. Eh, maybe pahari baga ni eh, DJ Hulvani hapa pua lazima pua ikuwe tilisi, eh, refu hivi imagine get that na kuna watu ambao wanajitukia kwa video wanakaa unakuta kwamba maybe mkono wako una problem are we together very very important Get this and follow me now. <coughs> Thank you for those who are sharing. Continue sharing. Continue sharing, continue sharing. Wata to share kwa watu wengi tuwasaidie about rejection. Bado sijaingia niko kwa introduction. Now look at this. Kuna watu ambao wanajiangalia weakness ya mwili wao. Maybe mguu wako na problem. Usijichukia kwa kujichukia kwa maana vile uko. Let me tell you something. If kuna mtu anapenda kwa Bible there was one guy called Ehud. Napenda Ehud kwa Bible. Ehud mkono wake wa kulia ulikuwa umepooza. Na alikuwa amezaliwa from the tribe of Benjamin. <laughs> na Benjamin walikuwa wanajulikana kama watu ambao ni son of the right hand. Watu ambao wanatumia right hand. Na yeye right hand yake imeoza. But guess what? Ata ikiwa in fact kuna kuna tumekana kwamba historia kwamba alikuwa amepoza kabisa hangetumia mkono na because of that alikuwa anatumia mkono wake wa kushoto but hakujitukia time walitumwa kupeleka present pesa kwa mfalme called Eglon wa Moab alificha in fact alitumia that weakness inaonekana kana kwamba ni weakness alitumia kama power yake Tuko pamoja hapa so kwa sababu in those days watu walikuwa na ficha upanga wao upande wa kushoto kama na walikuwa wanatumia saidia kulia bali alitumia upanga alitumia alificha upanga wake saidia kulia kwa maana anatumia kushoto na akaenda na akaua mfalme na akaitwa one of the judges Ehud Ehud although alikuwa na weakness Mungu alimtumia kwa sababu Mungu anaweza kutumia regardless vile uko. Hey. Alikuwa siku yako inakaa funny, Mungu anaweza still kutumia. 
alikuwa meno yako hayakai vile unataka usijitukie baba naweza kutumia the way you are eh huni alitumiwa vile alikuwa that's it leo huyu tunaye tunatambua hapa alikuwa na problem ya macho bali ndio kuonyesha kwamba Mungu siri alimtumia so look at this now So now my problem is Jacob ada kwa Laban na kafanya kazi miaka samba akitaka apewe nani akitaka apewe Gadis now akitaka apewe recho Bali pomaliza miaka saba akaenda kwa Laban akamwambia I'm through now nimecomplete now nipe kile ambacho nimegoja give me now let me continue now remember mjamaa kwa old kwa sababu if alikuwa 77 yes sir Emily even Moses Eh hey, kesi utakuja kuchambua na hiyo ni very interesting. Haka unisikize hapa vizuri sana. Kadis, kasema nipe my wife now. Then you see unajua those days wale watu tulichambua wedding ya Kiyahudi ilikuwa inafanya masaya jioni jioni. Raba na kaita watu masaya jioni watu wakaja wakagatha watu wakiwa sana na celebrate. Eh hey, jamaa, jamaa Jacob na celebrate after kugoja for now uh, 84 years now. <laughs> 84 years now at least ata celebrate atakuwa na mtu. Imagine. Then akapewa, akaletoa nani Lea? Let me ask you something. Lea alikuwa anajua kwamba hapendwi. Jule bwana napendwa ni recho. Bali babake akamforce kwa ndoa anajua hapendwi. Kwa nini babake hagemtafutia mtu mwingine kumuoa? Kwa nini alimforce kwa ndoa na na Jacob alikuwa anafanya kazi for seven years apelecho. Kera kwa nini? So akaforciwa kwa ndoa hapendwi. Akapeanwa cha nguvu ambiri fumebiri kwa amekataa akapeanwa na hiyo kwa sababu ile haraka alikuwa nayo kwa sababu unajua uh, kufanya miaka saba alafu <coughs> ni kama kuengage for seven years ah alafu sasa muede hanimu usi eh <coughs> so na jeko ay 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 ufungua jiangalia kana kwamba ni yeye au si yeye so but this story ya Jacob hakufungua eh hakuanzia na uso <laughs> alikibiria alikibiria huyu ni nini alafu akasahau kuangalia uso kana kwamba ni yeye the whole night eh? i believe hawa kuasha taa ilikuwa na stima hakuasha stima imagine Ari shughulikia mtu bila kujua ni nani kana kwamba amebadilishiwa it is my prayer auto ibadilishiwa what belongs to you in Jesus mighty name <laughs> come on talk to me no just bibi auto badilishiwa ah auto badilishiwa what belongs to you sisi blessed are some nitama ni kugoja alikuwa amegoja sana for seven years na bado alikuwa mzee Imagine na bado anataka kupata watoto na bado amezeeka. Na unajua kwamba mtu ambaye alikuwa amezeeka huyu mtu alizeeka na alipata watoto wengi sana. Mm. Watoto wengi sana amepata alikuwa amezeeka. Mungu alimbariki sana. Neema ya Mungu ilimwangukia tu. Eh? <laughs> But now the problem was this. Asubuhi kuangalia kana oi 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 nimepewa nani huyu? Nimepewa Lea. Nimepewa kuaguka, nimepewa grieve, nimepewa impatient, nimepewa nani? Now this is now. Now this is a problem. Now this is a problem. <laughs> yeah, do you know? See. Uh, look at this. Angalia hapa. Bwana mwende soma namna gani? Verse 25. Bible nasema kwamba when morning came when morning came there was Lea kuna oh ni Lea Bible hata kwa nasikia kwamba hii sauti hii sauti si ya recho ni ya Lea hapo nasikiza Unajua kuna penda recho manake the name recho means condo the name recho means condo you imagine condo so that's why kuna penda condo bado kapewa kuchoka 
Alipewa kuchoka ili nisaidie kupewa kondoo. Ha ha. Asubuhi akasikia woi nimebadilishiwa. Akaenda akauliza babake, akamuliza akauliza sana father in law sa why this? Bwana umenipa yule baba ya fai babake amwambia hapana. Hapana. Huku kuna hawezi pewa yule mdogo kwanza. Lazima kwanza upewe huyo kama kama ukitaka fanya miaka mingine. Huyu mke unataka umpokee. Hapa ni alikuwa serious. Hebu maji ni sasa nataka sasa ujiweke sasa mahali pale kwa Lea, Lea ana filu namna gani? Lea ana filu namna gani? Kuona kwamba amefosiwa. Amefosiwa. Dua hakuwa natakikana amefosiwa. And now look at this. <laughs> now look at this. Bible nasema namna gani? What is this that you have done to me? Sasa yani chiko makana kwa mbona umenifanyia hivi? Kawa raba, raba. Mbona umenifanyia hivi? Ah. Tazé, tu sais que ana nasema kwamba kuchoka badala ya kondoo. Ndio hiyo. Alipoku kuchoka na alikuwa anataka kondoo. Ah. Look at this. By the way, I'm sio kaka ni mchezo. Remember, remember labda nilikuwa mganga, alikuwa anafanya divination. Alikuwa anatumia alikuwa na miungu yake. Alikuwa diviner. Alikuwa na idols, alikuwa na budu miungu ingine. Alikuwa sababu tukisoma bubu tutaona kwamba alienda mpaka, alienda mpaka akatafuta through divination. Bona mali yake imeongezeka. Uchawi ukamwambia amebarikiwa because of chico. So alikuwa na fahuno sikana kwamba alitumia uganga ganga wake akafumbanisha huyu Jacob Jacob akapewa yule maya Faibal in the real sense. Nataka unisikize. In the real sense. Tunakuja hapo. <laughs> ah. Kwa baada ya tukuja kuangalia sasa look at this now. Bible nasema kwa baada gani? Look now. <laughs> I served you for Rachel. Not for Leah. Verse 26, verse 26. Verse 26. Laban replied, it is not our custom here to give younger daughters in marriage before the older one. So now the question. Bwana wali agree kwa agreement. Bwana alikuwa amekubali hivyo. Si wangekubali pale baada ya nisema kwamba una work for Lea. Jacob ajue na jua kwamba anafanyia kazi nani. Lakini alikuwa ameagree ni Rachel, alafu akambadilishia. Na the same same story it take place kwa David. David alifanywa the same same thing. Remember. Kuliko wewe semekana Jude beta wa Gorian atapoa mstana wa Saul ambaye anaitwa nani nisikize ambaye anaitwa Merab very interesting so down the time aliwa Goliath alikuwa na gojea atapewa Merab na siku ya wedding kafika na kaenda kwa wedding but akuletewa Merab in, st- in fact kwanza hii afa- hata afadhali hata afadhali ya Jacob afadhali ya Jacob ya Jacob ni mzuri sana kuliko ya David ya David ni mbaya sana sababu wedding ilifika akavaa suti akaenda mahali pale anangojea aletewa mwistana bara hakuletewa in stern akasikia na watu kwa barabara ya kwamba amepewa mtu mwingine anaitwa Adriel mtu ambaye amegojea ah awe tu akapewa mtu mwingine Merab David alikuwa anangoja Merab in stead akapewa mtu mwingine akaamua na Sauli if unataka kuna mwingine ako hapa anaitwa Milka fanya kazi Fanya kazi. Na ukifanya kazi <laughs> ile kazi alipo fanya si kazi kama ya Jacob. Uh-uh. Alipo kama aende uwe wa Fristi. Na chukua foya skin zao, gozi zao. Za prophet part zao. Mia moja au wa Fristi mia moja atoe gozi zao za prophet part alete. Atalete Sauli. Yaani intention ya Sauli alikuwa Daudi uliwe. But in the stand alienda akaua wafisi mbili akalipia milka double dawali yake get that the rest of the story tutakuja kuelezea one of these fine days but look at there now angalia hapa eva said you nataka sasa don't miss this one don't miss this one eva you nataka angalia hapa mtu bana nisikiza Verse that one verse that one When the Lord saw that Leah was not loved 
wakati imagine mpaka Mungu akaona get that Lea alikataliwa mpaka God akiwa heaven akaona kwamba seriously huyu msana ametukiwa imagine Mungu akaona amechukiwa God saw that Mungu akaona kwamba Lea anachukiwa Areno kuna watu wanaona nisikiza usiku wa leo Mungu ameona umechukiwa sister I know kuna watu wanaona nifuatilie Mungu ameona Yakobo umechukiwa my brother I believe kuna watu wanaona nifuatilie Mungu ameona hao watoto wamechukiwa Ah huh? Na lao nisikize So Jacob alikuja kufanya kazi miaka saba ingine na akapewa recho na akachukia sasa akachukia rea akawa namchukia hata kwa kwa nyumba namchukia i believe ili Mungu aone i believe Jacob alikuwa anamfanya madharao anamwambia sitaki mimi chakula yako ili mimi naweka hiyo kwa bible sitaki chakula yako anamwambia mambo nini fanye sana anamchukia bible inasema kwamba Mungu akaona ya kwamba lea amechukiwa na mimi usiku ule nimekuja kutangaza kwa watu wananifuatilia. Mungu huwa anaona wakati umechukiwa. <laughs> Mungu huwa anaona wakati umechukiwa. That's it. I'll let me tell you. Nataka unifuatilie hapa. Maana nataka kukupea mambo very very important here. Follow me closer now. Wala bwana ingia line nao karibuni sana. Umepoa kitabu ile tunasoma share to your friend. Mwambie karibu hajatelewa sana. Bado tuko na wana hawa hapa ya kuchambua. So mwambie karibu sana, mwambie karibu estelewe. Let's see the Bible. Now follow now kwa sababu kwanza hapa story itakuwa mbaya sana. Mungu alipoona kwamba amekataliwa. Mungu akamfungua tumbo yake. Mungu akafungua tumbo yake. Na Rachel akawa ni tasa. Rachel akawa ni tasa hapati watoto. Bwana Mungu alipoona Lea amekataliwa akafungua tumbo yake. Then do you know what a story now? Kuanzia hapo, kuanzia hapo. Lea aka, remember rejection imeanzia kuanzia kuzaliwa kwake. Jina yake ni mbaya. Jina yake ni mbaya. Kuanzia hapo akaanza kufuata na rejection. Na hii rejection watoto wake ika itawafuata. I'm going to show you. Kuna watoto wanaanza kufuata na rejection nao. Ili reaction ikamfuata. But Mungu aliona. I like that one. Mungu aliona. And tonight I want to declare. Mungu huwa anaona wakati umekataliwa. That's it. Wakati watu wamekudharao, Mungu huwa anaona my sister. Wakati umedharauliwa kikazi, Mungu huwa anaona. Wakati umedharauliwa kwa nyumba, Mungu huwa anaona. Mungu watu atsiki profu hapana. Mungu huwa anaona. Huwa anaona haya mambo. Look at this. So, Bible inasema kuanzia hapo, problem likaingia. Maana kila time akilala na mwanake, akipata mtoto, mtoto wake anaitanishwa na that rejection. Anakuwa na vita ya kuondoa that rejection. Akawa na vita ya kuondoa kuataliwa. Look at this. Angalia hapa nao, verse number 31. When the Lord saw that Leah was not loved he opened her womb but Rachel was barren verse number 32 Leah became pregnant imagine Mungu alifungua tumbo ya Leah ambaye amekataliwa then yule ambaye anapendwa yule ambaye anapendwa yule ambaye anapendwa Rachel akawa ni tasa But let me ask you this now sorry Do you know in accordance to the program of God Kuligana mind ya Mungu I know he it has surprised watu wengi sana. Mungu alikuwa anataka Jacob akuwe na Lea. <laughs> Mas kibreni mesema Mungu alikuwa anataka Jacob akuwe na Lea. In the mind of God, the purpose of God, the assignment of God haikuwa na recho. Get this now. <laughs> the assignment of God ilikuwa through Leah. Get this now. The purpose of God haikuwa fulfilled through Rachel. Ilikuwa fulfilled through Leah ambaye alikataliwa. So meaning, meaning if Jacob angepata Rachel peke yake, akoserea, maybe kuna kitu gamis. 
follow me now kwa sababu trulea trulea kristo alitoka trulea not trulecho kristo alitoka trulea not recho manaka true kile kimedharauliwa true kile kinaonekana ni bure true kile ambacho watu wanakidharau baba anajitukuza baba anajitukuza the stone that was rejected became the cornerstone lea was rejected but the assignment of god was true lea not recho How is it? The purpose of God it was fulfilled through there. So that's why when God saw ya kwamba amekataliwa, aliact, alifanya kitu. Maana ki Mungu akiona what you are going through, lazima intervene. Na tonight kuna watu ambao baba ata intervene. What you are going through, kuna watu ambao Jehovah God ata intervene. What your family is going through, baba ata intervene. Vile biashara kwa inaka baba ata intervene, ali intervene, akamfungua, akamariki na watoto. Yes mawara wa gonia ni mahau. Yes. Ale akawa sasa amebeba the seed of Christ. It was true there. Baada ya kuku surprise ta kuonyesha. Maana kitu hicho alitoka na sasa kwa father in law kwa Raban, wakielekea Canaan. Rachel alikufia kwa njia. Lost the start. If you read your Bible, Rachel alikuwa anaamini miungu. Rachel alikuwa anaamini idols. That's why aliimba idols za babake. Jure Mary kwa nakataliwa hakuimba idols za babake. Maana ke truku kataliwa. Get this now. Hakuona hata haja miungu mingine. Nataka ni ungena watu ambao wamekataliwa. Let me tell you. They may reject you but they don't know. Ya kwamba kuna purpose umebeba. They don't know you have an assignment. They don't know what you are carrying. They don't know you are called destined to be great. You, they don't know you are carrying the seed of greatness. It is not about your face. It is not about video meka. It is about kile kimewekwa in your heart. Bible inasema kwamba mioyo ya binadamu ni kisima na kimebeba purpose and only the man of understanding can draw from that well. Ah ya 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 Are we together? That's our God that we serve. That's our God. That's why nataka nikuone na watu ambao wamekataliwa. Sister, let me tell you. Bado Mungu hajamalizana na wewe. Watu wanaweza malizana na wewe. <laughs> Marafiki wanaweza malizana na wewe. <laughs> Watu wa kuona wanaweza malizana na wewe. Watu wa kijiji wanaweza malizana na wewe. <laughs> Watu ambao wanaofanya biashara na wao wanaweza malizana na wewe. But God hajamalizana na wewe. Still akona assignment na wewe. Still kuna mahali na kupaya na wewe for your information. Rachel alikufia kwa jia na alipata only watoto wawili. Rebecca alipata sita. Sita. Ah come on somebody why kill yourself kwa sababu umekataliwa na mtu mmoja why kill yourself kwa sababu wewe mwenyewe ati mamako alikukataa why kill yourself kwa sababu mzee alikukataa let me tell you hata ukataliwa you have an assignment and you're going to feel that assignment what if joseph had jua kwa maana amekataliwa na brothers wakamweka mpaka kwa shimo but baba ni mtoto from the pit by the way to from the pit Can this I don't don't miss this one. Ah yeah 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 yeah. And if to roll from the pit, then I can break on. I can break on prison. Now from the prison I can break on the palace and enjoy three peace. From the pit I can go prison, from the prison I can go palace. Na kainuliwa. So through kumkata walikuwa wanampeleka mahali pa nafaa. Through kumkata walikuwa wanamkaribisha wanafanya karibia presi ya destiny yake rejection nyingine imekuja kwako haijakuja kukuua inakusaidia ukue you're going to enjoy and to and na kujua Mungu na another dimension 
Hello? There are so many people of us to the Katariwa and you are still alive. There are so many of us to the Daraoliwa. Kuna watu ambao mpaka mahali mamako walikuwa wameolewa au mahali ulikuwa wameolewa ulifukuzwa. Mali yako ukapokonywa. Let me tell you, God can still lift you high. Baba anaweza kupea shamba kubwa kuliko hiyo ulipokonywa. Baba anaweza kupea nyumba kuliko ile ulinyimwa. Come on. You have the seed of greatness. Lea likataliwa, but inside there there was a seed of Christ. Ah. Who am I prophesying to tonight? You may be called Lea weary. You may be called Lea grieve. You may be called Lea faint. But let me tell you, once baba kuone, baba kaanza kushughulikia, ile wale na zeni kwa nayo ina disappear. Ile jina uliko maitwa haitakuwa na power kwako. Baba nakupea another name. Follow me now. Nataka unisikize. Ah, nataka watu watano wanasema amen ya kwamba I carry the seed of greatness. Wacha kujidharau mami. Wewe mtoto unanisikiza wacha kujidharau. Kusoma umekataliwa na binadamu does not mean kwamba Mungu amekukataa. God is a final say, nisikize. God is a final say. Get this now. God is a final say. God is a final say. Jesus Hallelujah 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 somebody Hallelujah Get this and listen to me now. Now the problem ile alikuwa na struggle na rejection kwa maisha yake. Ako kwa doa bali struggling with rejection kwa doa. Na Jacob bado alikuwa anamkataa mpendo kwa sababu alikuwa anapenda Rachel. Ba hako na joko makile ile amebeba. People may not understand what you are carrying. Wanaweza kuona vile unavaa nguo, but inside you, you are carrying something. Wanaweza kudara right now you don't have money. Wanaweza kudara right now hauna wazazi. Wanaweza kudara right now haujatoka kwa matajiri. But let me tell you something. Unaweza kuwa umetoka mahali hapana pesa au umetoka mahali pana pesa na still ay 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 Ah, you are identity haitokani na mahali umezaliwa. Mahali umezaliwa hakapuka hapakupai identity. Your identity comes from the above. Can you hear me? Your identity comes from the above. Ah, Mungu ndiye ana identity yako. Hai. They may abuse you, they may hate you. Wanaweza kuita majina, wanaweza kuita wewe utafanikiwa, wanaweza kuambia umekaa bila kuoa au kuolewa, but I have a word for you. Wata Mungu anza kukushughulikia, akianza kushughulikia, they will change their might by the way. Watabadilisha vile walisema, maneke baba ameingilia kati, anybody ambaye ananisikiza na umefuata na spirit of rejection, maybe umetoka kwenu, maybe ni jina yako, maybe ni vile ulizaliwa, maybe uliitwa, maybe ni watu ambao umekana wao, wamekuwa umekataliwa maybe ni your ex alikukataa maybe ni bwanako i declare prophetically ya kwamba in the name of Jesus Christ that is spirit of rejection haina power kwako na haina nguvu you still have a seed of greatness in you ah <laughs> this i like this one Bible nasema kwamba Lea akawa pregnant akapata mtoto wa kwanza. Yule mtoto wa kwanza akasema she had akamuita Ruben. Akasema for she said it is because the Lord has seen my misery. Get now. Surely my husband will love me now. Imagine. Alipopata mtoto wa kwanza still ana struggle na rejection. Akasema na mwana gani sasa nitapendwa na bwana wangu. Alikuwa anafikiria kwamba atapendwa kwa maana ana mtoto. But still hata kupata mtoto na mwanake hakupendwa na mwanake. 
Akaita mtoto wake still aka Kedis remember remember Ruben amezaliwa through rejection. Get this now. Ruben amezaliwa through rejection. Na rai kuonyesha kwamba hii rejection Ruben amezaliwa ilikuja kwa affect destiny yake. Follow me closely. Amezaliwa leo amekataliwa Bwanake amelala na yeye amepata mtoto through rejection na bado yule mtoto amemwitanisha na jina kupitia hali ya bao anapitia akasema because of this ah na unajua bwanangu Mungu ameona mabobao anapitia bwanangu sasa atanipenda so Ruben amezaliwa through rejection bado acha tuone kana kwamba alipendwa after kupata mtoto hakupendwa akapata mtoto wawili verse 33 She conceived again and when she gave birth to a son she said because the Lord heard that I am not loved he gave me this one too so she named him Simeon So bado akapewa wapili anasema kwamba Mungu amesikia Hebu maji anasema namna gani because the Lord heard that I am not loved So amesema kwamba wa kwanza amemwita Ruben Mungu ameona sasa yeye anapitia bwanangu atanipenda bado bwanake hakumpenda kwa maana amepata mtoto akapata wapili akasema namna gani sasa Mungu sasa Mungu sasa amesikia amesikia sipendwi amesikia hebu ana struggle na rejection anapata watoto ako kwa doa but still struggling with the rejection kuna watu ambao wameolewa but still wako kwa ndoa but struggling with rejection wamepata watoto but struggling with rejection wana biashara but struggling with rejection wana soma but struggling with rejection <coughs> follow me now follow me now akapata watatu Bwana sema kwamba again she conceived and one she gave birth to a son she said now at last my husband is kiza watatu at last my husband <laughs> will become attached to me because i bore him three sons Ebu madini watatu anasema namna gani at now atakuwa attached na bwanake meaning anakaa kwa ndoa na hakuna attachment na bwanake Manake hiyo rejection iliondoa attachment ako kwa ndoa but there's no attachment Rasa unasema namna gani ya kwamba atakuwa attached kwa bwanake mtoto watatu atakuwa attached Are we together So mtoto watatu nasema atakuwa attached levi to attach But now the problem is this still in a struggle but I thank God wakati sasa alipata mtoto wake still kuna ka change kidogo Alipopata wake akasema kwamba na gain she conceived and when she gave birth to a son she said now at last my husband will attach to me na kamuita Levi verse number that five She conceived again and she gave birth to a son she said this time I'll praise the Lord so she named him Judah then she stopped having children Judah means praise so alipopata wanne akasema no sita struggle na kungangana nipendwe let me praise God <laughs> let me praise God who am I talking to This evening this uh, this night mtu bana niambia pasta nimekataliwa nime struggle na rejection nimejaribu nipendwe nimejaribu kufanya mambo nipendwe but still na photo na kataliwa fika fanya kama lea alipopata mtoto wanne alifanya namna gani alisema nao sita struggle na watoto nipendwe sitawaita majina atakumaanisha kwamba nataka ku connect nataka niona kwamba si mimi ndio atakomba Mungu amesikia a a I will praise God now. Sasa nitaabudu Bwana. Kwa hii hali yangu ukataliwa, I will praise God. Although nimekataliwa, I will praise God. Although mwanangu hanipendi, hakuna attachment. Although mwanangu amenia I will still praise God. Uh, are we together in that situation praise him. 
Don't allow the circumstances to take advantage of you. Even if you have been rejected, praise the name of God. Inua Buana, Manaku Mezaliwa, Jua Kwama inside you, you have a seed of greatness, and Jua Kwama Mumwa Nakupenda, Atoto Kuata, Jua Kwama, Una assignment, Una Papa Sakufil, praise God. Judah, na huyu Judah bali ya budu mwana temalipewa. Remember Judah, kutoka kwa Judah nani ya pale. David, kutoka kwa Judah nani ya pale. Jesus. Get that. I praise God in that situation. Hwena kwenu kuna ayo mambo ya kukatariwa. Praise Jesus. Oh my God. I will still praise you. I will still praise you. Bado baba nita kwa budu. Aka budu mwana. Hear this. Amepata watoto wane. Yule ambaye alikuwa amependwa hajapata hata mmoja. In fact, yule ambaye hajapendwa akachukua maid. Akampira. Akaprekeje kama anasema kwa barana na huyu. <laughs> barana yako unisikize today. Wale bwana nifuata hata watu wakikuchukia. God loves you. <laughs> God loves you. The Bible says you are accepted in the beloved. You are accepted in the beloved. Umekumbalika ndani ya Mungu. Oh, my prayer tonight itakuwa may God who enjoy the favor with God and the favor with the men. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Now from Judah, now from Judah. Hapo ndipo nao hiyo story kubwa ilitoka. From Judah kulitoka kings. Can I surprise you? Do you know come from there could talk kings? Do you know that kings? Wengi Judah, king wa Judah, wengi walitoka pale wa from wengi sana walitoka pale. David walitoka pale. Jule ambaye alikuwa na amekataliwa. Mungu alikuja kusifiwa kutoka kwake. Kama na walikuwa na mkataa na vile anakaa. Bar Mungu alikuwa amempenda vile alikuwa. Haleluya. Vile alikuwa Mungu tu alikuwa amempenda vile tu alikuwa. Mungu alikuwa anampenda vile tu alikuwa. Mungu anakupenda the way you are. Kadis. The way you are. Mungu anakupenda. Na kiamua kujitukuza na wewe, haidhalishi nani ambaye anakutema mate atajitukuza na wewe. Akiamua atajitukuza na wewe lazima atajitukuza na wewe ay 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 who is listening to me now now look at this now ili nikupe yale mambo analeta direction pale follow me now e problem ikawa kubwa sana mpaka nao Rachel akapeana bill her maid ili sasa yule maid afanyike namna gani apata watoto na kwa kweli na kwa kweli nao Ah katarama. Hai, akapeana meet. Apata watoto na Jacob akapata wawili bila kapata watoto wawili. Kera. Na yeye leo akaona koba hii nimekata mimi sasa bado sija pa. Na yeye akapeana meet. But now look at this now. Look at this. There was this problem now. Angalia Genesis chapter number 30. Angalia Genesis chapter number 30 verse number 16. Angalia now look at this. Genesis 30:16. Genesis chapter number 30 verse number 16. Ever there's someone going to say about following. I can see you now. Now don't miss mahali sasa tumefika. Don't miss mahali tumefika. Manake this one is very important. Very important. Genesis 30 Verse 16. So when Jacob came from the field that even let me start verse, verse 14. During wheat harvest. During verse number 14, during wheat harvest. Can you see that? Yes, J J J J can all there was a competition in the house. That was a competition right now. That was a competition. Huyu anataka sasa ni mimi ni mimi ni mimi ni pini. Nataka ni kuonyesha kitu nao. During wheat harvest. Wheat harvest. Wala bwana soma boy you understand wheat harvest is Pentecost eh? Barley harvest is first fruit. 
is time of Passover. Passover is barley harvest. The season of barley harvest. Pentecost is a season of wheat harvest. It's good to understand that. Uh, atonement or trumpet is a season of grape harvest. Nivye masana ku understand hapo. Angalia masana mafuta. During wheat harvest, Reuben went out to the field and found some madrick plant. Can you see that? I made a mepata madricks. <laughs> Madrick pale I love Bible na magadi plants which which he brought to his mother there so Jacob akaenda ko field kwa shamba akapata Madrix Madrix ni tumatunda kuna sema kana kwamba tuko tunasaidia tumatunda to upendo <laughs> tuko tunasaidia kwamba ati upendwe na upate miba Can you hear that So nani ambaye amepata Madrix Ni Ruben. Remember Ruben amezaliwa kutoka kwa rejection. Sasa anajaribu kusaidia mamake apendwe. Ameenda na huko amepata Madrix tu matunda to upendo. Analetea mamake akure ture tu matunda ili apendwe na apate mimba. <laughs> ah. Ay 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 ay. Na wakati nao <laughs> Look at this now. This is very interesting now. This is very interesting. Recho said to Lea, let's go kadua kwa akajua kwamba Lea amepata tule tumatunda to upendo. Akaambia Lea tu hiyo tumatunda ya upendo sasa nitaka. Ndasa ndo kutoka kwa mtu akikataliwa anaweza anaweza enda kwa mchawi. Anaweza fanya enevi. Anaweza rara na mganga. Mganga kimwambia kwamba ukirana na mimi utapendo. Anaweza rara na yeye. Ruben anatasaidia mamake na Madrid kapendwe. Let's go kesema kwamba nisaidie na South Matrix. Na akapewa Lea kampea. Wakati sasa Jacob alitoka kwa shamba, Lea akamwambia kwamba, "Hey, unarana kwangu leo? Yaani wanabishana unarana kwa nani? Unarana kwangu leo?" <laughs> na akalala kwake. Yeah. And you know the story. You know the story. Alikuja kupewa mtoto. After that alipewa watoto wengine wawili. Let me let me just let me just <laughs> disclose this. Look at this now. Angalia. Verse 16. Ah, uh, so when Jacob came to the field that evening, Leah went out to meet him. You must sleep with me. She said, I have hired you with my son's Madrick. So he slept with her that night. God listened to Leah. Wakati Leah liachilia, akasema kwamba it is not about Madricks. It is about your God. Bible inasema kwamba God listened to Leah. Kasikiza Leah. Wakati Lea aliachilia na portion na huko. Mungu akamsikia. Kadat. Akampea mtoto. Ah, I have hired you. Akampea mtoto. <laughs> ah, alikuwa na bishana. Baba nasema God listened to Leah and she became pregnant a boy Jacob five the son five the son then Leah said God has rewarded me for giving my maid servant to my to my husband so she named him Isaac Isaac na finally akapata Zebulun but now listen to me now this is a problem the issue to attack up is about rejection and a struggle na rejection na kuna time ilifika nataka unisikize nataka unisikize Rachel akafa after kuimba ile miungu akafa kwa sababu Jacob ali pronounce akasema kwamba yule baya na miungu na afe then time alikuwa anajifungua akafa alipata watoto wawili Joseph and Benjamin time alikufa na unisikize time alikufa Bible inasema kwamba Ruben akaenda kwa Bilha who was made her Bilha alikuwa ni maid wa Recho Akaenda akarara na yeye Kwa nini alirara na yeye? Alikuwa anataka kumdefile ili Jacob asimchukue kwa sababu nao yule alikuwa alikuwa na bishana na mamake ameenda sasa anafaa kuchukua mamake anatikuwa anatengenezea mamake jia Ako sema kwamba nimeteka authority nao. Nimedefile huyu akaenda karana birha na babake akasikia. That was a sign ya to dominate. 
Mana ka any time kwamba haimo. Jule bae na rana concubine. It was a sign ya kwamba ni ana dominate. So ni kwa nataka ku defy beat her. Ili jike kwamba si ana kwa sababu Rachel ameenda. Ili aenda Korea. The issue was rejection. Ali walikuwa na struggle na rejection. But let me tell you something. Because of that the issue hiyo tu ya rejection ilifanya ru, ilifanya Ruben araaniwe kwa sababu ni Lana Bidha kanaaniwa what about Lea Lea alimalizia vizuri sana maana yake alikuja kuzikwa mahali watu wa faith walikuwa wanazikwa wapi Makpila Makpila was a place mahali Abraham alinunua Genesis chapter number 23 ili azike Sara na yeye akasema atazikwa pale so watu wa faith walikuwa wanazikwa pale Makpila so Lea alimalizia akiwa mtu wa faith Hao nisikize So alikuwa amekataliwa bali alimalizia kwa mtu wa faith I know there are so many people today they are listening to me na no, wamekataliwa Kuna issues zimefanya watu wakataliwe Na kuna watu wengi sana naweza kuonyesha kwa Bible walikataliwa Mara nataka kupea issues ambazo zinaleta rejection kwa maisha Ni nini kinapea ground the spirit of rejection au kwa maisha ya watu at least ni kupea kidogo u understand naraka sawa nitegea masikio sana mambo ya boya naleta rejection na maybe umeadago haya mambo but i have a word for you the same way baba li change my share the same way to change your life the same way to change your destiny ikuwe vile mungu anataka so number one. Redaction nagalia tule tu milango tunapea the spirit of rejection nafasi number one is ni gener- ni through generational rejection a generational curse if ko familia kuna rejection that family generational rejection pale usipoikata shetani anaweza itumia kuileta kwako So jia moja rejection spirit of rejection nakuja it is true inheritance it is true inheritance kuna watu ambao wana inherit rejection so hiyo ni jia moja so it's good kuangalia kwa familia ana wakati unaolewa au wakati unaoa ni vyema sana kuangalia what about kwetu watu nakataliwa watu wakiolewa wanasimamisha ndoa ni vyema sana kuangalia haya mambo mna deal nayo in fact kila time tunafanya Perimarito kansuri kuna mambo huwa tunasema na tunaambia watu kuna maswali huwa tunayowauliza then after that what do we do tunaangalia foundation za kwao vile zinakaa tunowasaidia kuwateganisha na maybe if kuna rejection maybe if kuna issue zina nini so through inheritance kuna rejection inakuja through inheritance if kuna that generational thing hiyo hiyo jambo inafungua mlango kwa maroho mabaya yakuje that's number one. number two. number two is if we mwenyewe umezaliwa as a result of pregnancy about haikutakikana unwanted pregnancy Unwanted pregnancy inafungulia mlango wa rejection dia. That's why it's good by the way unakata hili jambo. Sababu unaweza sikia kwamba maybe ni mstana alipata mimba akiwa high school na akachukia ile mimba sana hakuwa nataka. Unwanted pregnancy huwa inafungua mlango kwa huyo mtoto akizaliwa anakuwa na spirit of rejection. Na so huyo mtoto akizaliwa lazima apendwe, lazima huyo mtoto apelekwe ngani sana dikitwe, lazima aonyeshe upendo sasa ili asifuate na spirit of rejection. Maana ki unwanted pregnancy hiyo unasikia kwamba inafungulisha mlango kwa spirit of rejection. So if ulizaliwa nje ya ndoa 
Wangi sana nasikia kwamba hiyo mimba mtu anaichukia ai nimfanyike nini? Ni ume, masomo yako hauendelei nayo. So that one inaleta the spirit of rejection. Is another doorway in a spirit of rejection. Number three. If if wazazi wako, if wazazi wako wanted a boy or a girl. Gender. If if mzazi anataka msichana alafu apata kijana, hiyo issue isiposhughulikiwa vizuri sana, inaweza affect mtoto. Na hii ili affect familia ya Jacob sana. Maana kelea alikuwa anapata alikuwa anatamani sana apate vijana. Bado kuna time alipata msichana akamuita Daina. Daina. Na Daina hakuna neno prophetic litamkoko kwake. Na hakuwa namtaka hakuna kitu aliongea alinyamaza tu. Na Daina finally akaja kurepiwa. Na Bible iko quiet about Daina. Haijasema tena about Daina. Na huyu Daina wakati aliyepiwa alifanya Simeon na Levi wakuje kuraaniwa kwa sababu walifanya watu watahiriwe wakawaua katika ile hali ya uchungu. Kwa sababu yule mtoto alikuwa anataka si yule ambaye nini? Is good to understand whether mmepata kijana, whether mmepata msichana, mtoto yeyote ni wa baraka na ni Mungu amempeana. So kuna watu ambao today wanakataliwa wa kuachanga kwa sababu mzazi hakuwa anapenda huyo mtoto alikuwa anataka kijana amepata msichana so hiyo ni issue nyingine inafungulia inafungulia rejection mlango mahari pengine shetani huwa anataka advantage ya rejection ya kwamba if both of your parents wamekufa kuwa mtoto Excuse me. If both ya wazazi wako wawili wamekufa ukuwa mtoto. Mara sana yule mtoto akikosa mtu akumcover. Anaweza shetani anaweza pata nafasi na through hapo kwa mlango afuatwe na kukataliwa. So ni heaven praise God. <laughs> <laughs> Leo alipata vijana sita. Kwa sababu uh, Zilpa ambaye alikuwa ni maid wake alipata wawili. Birha akapata wawili. Alipata msichana mwingine. Ukia na poto wa Jacob, ni saa vijana sasa wanakuja na wawili sasa. Taka unisikie zile dakika nimebaki kushare kama kumi hapa nimesema kwamba if wazazi wamekufa wili kwa mtanga hiyo inaweza fungulia mlango Alaf if you are conceived through last na hiyo issue ukataka kuiombea unaweza photo na rejection if umekuwa conceived through last if umekuwa conceived through last hiyo inaweza leta rejection last another thing ya kwamba if parents wako wame divorce If wazazi wako wame divorce una, unaona kwamba baba wako anakukataa hakupendi hiyo divorce usipomba sana uh, mtoto dasa huyu tunasema kwamba if mzazi ame divorce yule mtoto akosa sasa kuombewa na kushukuru vizuri sana na kupelekwa therapy vizuri sana yule mtoto anawezaona kwamba wamekataliwa na baba yao na anaweza kaa na that anger na kaa na that rejection na chukie na aanze kuogopa mpaka doa au kwao kuolewa So divorce mara mingi sana isipotungwa sana inaleta rejection. Divorce huwa inaleta rejection by the way. Divorce. Get this now. Abuse if you abuse kwa mchanga whether ni verbally, physically, mentally, socially, or sexually or emotionally. Abuse if you were abused. Been abused hiyo inaleta rejection inafungulia mlango sema kwamba ni mlango ni kaburupu hole the spirit of rejection inaweza ingia usipoishughulikia the spirit of rejection inaweza ingia if you are abused ukiwa mchanga ara uko mtu mkubwa by the way whether ni vambare imekuwa abused vambare physically mentally sexually or emotionally 
The beginner in the rejection ya kwamba if you are rejected by opposite sex if what wa opposite sex wa maku reject if what wa opposite sex wa maku reject mara mingi sana if one mustana ukataliwa na vijana aya ya una feel ya kwamba that's a doorway the spirit of rejection in as a take place the spirit of rejection as a take place Another thing na zafanya respect of rejection ingie ni not been married kukosa kuolewa kukosa kuolewa kwa sababu kikosa kuolewa na kwamba sasa haupendi na mtu ni vile haonekani ni hiyo kukosa kuolewa shetani anaitumia sana usipo hiyo angalia Mungu sana shetani anaweza take advantage na spirit of rejection ingie kukosa kuolewa kunaleta the spirit of rejection so is good at ukiwa haujolewa si kumaanisha kwamba we si mzuri si kumaanisha kwamba Mungu amekuchukia pana huna uskana kwamba utakuja kuolewa na watu ambao wameolewa hata wakuje kuona vile Mungu amefanya kwako so it is very important to understand that very important another thing nafungulia the spirit of rejection murango It is broken heart. If usawe vunjika moyo wako umevunjwa moyo. Kule kuvunjika moyo ushipka vunjwa moyo. So usipoangalia mahali pale, kule kuvunjika kwa moyo kunaweza fungulia mlango the spirit of rejection. Kule kuvunjika kwa moyo kunaweza fanya mtu aone kwamba amekataliwa na spirit of rejection inaweza ingia. Another thing inaweza fanya ukuwa na spirit of rejection ipata nafasi ni public humiliation. If you make humiliated publicly, umeibishwa mbele ya watu. Kule kwa ibisho mbele ya watu wote kunaweza leta rejection ndani ya mtu. Kunaweza fanya mtu spirit of rejection ingie. It is a doorway. It is a doorway. Public humiliation is a doorway ya rejection. So it's good to deal with that. Physical problem, physical problem. If una ka issue uko nayo, kama vile tumesema leo macho ya macho yake, if una physical problem, shetani anaweza itumia kufanya mwenye ujitukie au uone kana ufia kuchukiwa. Physical physical problem. If una problem physically, shetani anaweza itumia usipo ukimpea nafasi anaweza tumia hiyo nafasi. Na akuonyesha kwamba umekataliwa. So that's why it's very very important. Very very important. Anai another another doorway in as a spirit of rejection. Nikurus one of your close parent or mtoto. Mzazi wako ambaye ni close akifa au mtoto wako ambaye akufe unaweza jitukia kuna watu ambao wanajitukia sababu una shida so why? Bona 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 watoto kuna sister alikuja tumwombee. Watoto wake watatu nyumba yake ilichomeka wakafa. Watoto watatu wakafa. Alafu still akawa mjamzito, akapata mimba akawa mapacha, akaenda kafanywa CS. Wakati alijifungua wale watoto, watu wawili wakafa. So akawa alikuwa analiza pasta. Bon hawa watatu wa kwanza walichomekea na nyumba wakafa watatu. Alafu nikapata mimba hawa wawili still wakafa after kujifungua na alifanywa CS na hata kuwa mepona. So unakuta kwamba yule mtu asiposaidiwa anaweza ingiwa na spirit of rejection anaweza ona hata Mungu anamchukia ana anaweza anza kuwa bomba mbaya kuna watu ambao wanabwa eh kwani kuna hii so hiyo inaweza kuwa ni doorway ya spirit of rejection na usipee shetani nafasi regardless kana kama umepitia haya mambo anayasoma hapa usipee shetani nafasi is good to know who you are in the word of god resist and say kwamba i am born again i am a victor na nitatumbo haya mambo is good na kujua kwamba Mungu anakupenda na ni vyema sana mpaka kujisamehea ni vyema sana mpaka kujisamehea very very important nataka unisikize na unakuta kwamba kuna watu wengine wanafuatwa na abortion because of at, uh, na, 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 na rejection because of attempted abortion attempted abortion if yule mtoto alizaliwa mama yake alikuwa amejaribu kutoa ile mimba You attempted a portion isipo usipo yule mtoto ambewa sana hiyo ni kukataliwa inaweza fungua mlango wa kukataliwa 
Very, very important. Get this. Na jigine shetana na itumia kufanya na spirit of deduction yonekane. Ni if uriolewa kwa doko mana umepata mtoto. Get this now. If uriolewa kwa mana ulipata. That's what tunasema kwa If aupendi mtu na umepata mtoto wake. Si lazima. Nimesema kwa si lazima. Si lazima uwaleke kwa mtu. Kwa sababu umepata mtoto wake. Kwa sababu shetana is a take advantage. Ngoja kwa sababu mtu mnakana anakuambia kwamba mimi siko nakupenda. Ah nilikuwa nilikuwa kwa maana una mtoto wangu. So hiyo issue na Zareta the spirit of rejection. So ni vyema sana kuangalia. Kino jingine shetani anatumia kuleta nini? Ni wakati kuna relationship baya, bad relationship between mother and father. In Zareta rejection paka kwa watoto. Sabu watoto wanaona yale ambao anatendeka mahali pale. I, I remember kuna kuna kijana alikuja nimuombe. Na wakati alikuja nimuombe akaniambia kwamba mpaka wale ni mkubwa by the way ako buff that. Akaniambia kwamba mpaka wale anakubuka what happened. Akuwa mdogo. Mama Kelly tak po na babake akiwa amembeba. Get this now. Akiwa amembeba. akamdunga kisu akiwa amebebwa mamake akafa akiwa amembeba so mtoto alikuwa analilia mamake amekufa na baba ametoka ameenda mtoto akaanza kugaragara kwa ile damu ya mamake na mamake amekufa mpaka wa leo get now paka wa leo yule kijana alikuja kaniambia Kedis akaja kaniambia pastor niko na that years na nilikuwa mtoto mdogo but mpaka wa leo naona ile damu ni garagara damu ya mamangu time mabangu aliua my mom na akaniacha nikiwa na garagara kwa damu ya mamangu na akafa ako above that na naona hiyo damu ya mamake aligaragara kwa mchanga what happened na mamake kanimbia kwamba anajaribu kuoa hawezi simamisha ndoa maana ile kitu inamsumbua maana the relationship was not good the relationship was bad there are so many people today wanampaka fear ya rejection kwa maisha yao but i have a word for you you are going to live regardless kana kama umekataliwa regardless kana kama umetupanishwa kwa field god can wipe your tears god can wipe your tears he can wipe your tears Oh. Another thing inafanya mtu afuata na spirit of rejection. Ni ile watoto kutenganishwa. Unakuta kwamba kuna mtoto ambaye mzazi mmoja anapendelea mtoto mmoja kuliko yule mwingine. Yule ambaye anaonekana kwamba hapendwi. Kuna watoto mimi nimeongea na, na mtoto akaniambia kwamba mimi niko na feel ya kwamba nataka kujiua kwa sababu my dad hanipendi nataka ninenea wazazi wangu na nisikiza watoto maito differently kuna mtoto ambaye anaweza kuwa anajua mahesabu na huyu mwingine anajua kiingereza sana hawafanani na unakuta kwamba kuna wazazi wanachukia watoto kwa sababu huyu mtoto hajapita vile kama yule mwingine. Unapenda huyu mtoto kwa sababu amepita. Unachukia huyu mwingine haujamuonyesha upendo. Una separate. Not because of that. Unaweza sikia kwamba yule mtoto atakuwa kijua kwamba babake au mamake hampendi. Wanatenga nisho wale watoto. Am I want to declare tonight? You are going to live again in Jesus mighty name. You are going to live again in Jesus mighty name. 
issue gine nafanya mtu ajitukie ni kukosa mtoto kukosa mtoto kukosa mtoto unachukia una, unaona kwamba mtu akikosa mtoto anajitukia ukikosa mtoto Shetani za take advantage na ile jambo. Ai 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 ai. Ainuko ni watu wao wanasikiza raino hawajapata watoto wanangoja watoto. Let me tell you, usijitukie kwa sababu haujapata mtoto. Hata Sara alikabila kupata mtoto. Rebecca alikabila kupata mtoto. Elisa ben Rekabi na kupata mtoto, bali fani ile Mungu alikuja kuwa pea. Mimi nimeona mtu mpaka 57 years akipata mtoto. I have seen mtu 57 years Mungu akipea mtoto mtu 57 years. You are going to live again in Jesus mighty name. You are going to live again in Jesus mighty name. Na hakuna kitu kibaya kama wakati sasa umeanza kufuatwa. Na spirit of rejection. Kwa sababu unasikia kwamba huyu mtu anaweza anaweza kama hata mpaka na depression. Anaweza kuwa stubborn sana. Anaweza anaweza kufuatwa na watu kwa restoration, anaweza kuwa anataka kutikalisha peke yake, hata kutoganyika na watu wa watu wala wengine because of this problem of rejection. Jera se inaweza fuata huyo mtu. Mtu ambaye ana spirit of rejection ni gumu sana ku receive love. Hata kijaribu kupendwa na mtu, hawezi ku reciprocate, hawezi hata kupenda mtu. Sababu so, ile kitu inamuumiza. And the heaviness of the heart ana photo na addictions ana anaanza kutumikia drugs anaanza kuwa kiusu Mungu vibaya ana photo na discouragement za maisha anakuwa double minded i cannot willing to open mtu ambao ko rejected sometimes not willing to open hataki ku open kwa anybody hata kujifungia hivyo not willing to open na nakuwa na guilt anajikodemu yeye mwenyewe kila wakati anajikodemu na nafuata mpaka na bitterness i know there are so many people ambao hata right now wana anger hasira sababu wa vile walikataliwa vile walifanywa kuwa wachanga vile walifanywa kuwa ndoa vile umefanywa kimaisha vile mtu ulipata mtoto wake akaguchukia hapendi kukuona umelea mtoto peke yako you have that thing now ndani yako i have this word for you god loves you He was rejected so that you may be accepted. Pastor Josphat, most of God bless you. Jesus Christ was rejected. Ara Yesu Kristo alikataliwa na watu wao. David alikuwa amekataliwa mpaka na babake. Alikataliwa mpaka na brothers. Jeff alikataliwa mpaka na brothers na akafukuzwa, bali Mungu akamuinua. That's not the end of you. Chochoto unapitia this is not the end. There is still your future. Yes, Kafrajo when I agree with you. There are so many people right now. Eh, ni mambo kadhaa tu nimetaja. There are so many things is in the letter rejection. But I have this word. Ah. Jesus Christ and heal broken hearted people. Mio yao wana heal. In Christ tumekubalika. Chua hivyo. There are so many people are pleading Joseph ali kataliwa. Na bado akawa prime minister hata after kukataliwa. This is not your end. Don't kill yourself, don't hate yourself, don't reject yourself. God loves you. 
It is for your good. All things work together for. It is for your good. Who knows kana kwamba Mungu aliona kwamba utakuja kuliwa akakuokoa. Who knows kana kwamba mwenye utakuwa testimony kwa watu wengi sana. Who knows kana kwamba one day utakuja kutia watu nguvu through your testimony paka kwa mide utoe kusema kwamba nilikataliwa ndoa zangu tano zilivunjika but I know I'm strong nimeolewa na nimesimama. Who knows kana kwamba utakuja kuandika kitabu uelezee watu what you have gone through na wakisome na usaidie millions and millions of people who knows kana kwamba we mwenyewe life yako itakuwa testimony wale watu kusoma the story of job vile job ali struggle vile job ali godeka hakuna mahali tunaona kwamba watu wa familia wanamtebelea even mimi tukianzia a thought job hakuwa na watu wao na sisters na brothers But ukisoma Bible pale the book of Job ukimalizia brothers and sisters wakaja kutembelea Job time uchize ulitendeka where were they time walikuwa wamegodeka born hawakumpe visit maybe walikuwa nasema wacha tuone alikuwa tajiri sana wacha tuone sasa hana kitu hawakumtembelea even a single day David alikuwa amechukiwa paka alikuwa anasemekana kwamba amezaliwa nje ya doa paka akaandika kwa Psalm 69 akasema kwa kwamba watu wananichukia bila sababu paka akaandika kwa Psalm 27 akasema kwamba wazazi wananichukia wanaweza kuchukia just like that sasa so, walichukiwa mpaka na wazazi but hiyo ikuzuilia kuwe king a uh-uh. a alifanyika king let me tell you nothing you broke you nataka unielewe Shetani hawezi ku block. Aone wewe mwenyewe unaweza kubadilisha shetani ya ku block. Ni wewe tu unaweza kubadilisha shetani ya ku block. Na usikubadilisha shetani ya ku block. No. Mungu anaweza kupeleka. Hana lidharauliwa bali alikuja kubarikiwa. Afa kubarikiwa. Why is it penina? We don't know. Na Bible is quiet. Leo alikuja kuinuliwa alibarikiwa mpaka na watoto wengi sana. Akaja kufit kwenye genealogy kaja kuonekana sasa bona unataka kujiua let me tell you god is the beginning and the end hapo mafika ena anaweza kupea beginning i know kuna tobo niuliza pastor na shiro nitaanza na mna gani let me tell you god is god of acceleration ni mungu anapeana speed anointing anazingiria kati anaweza simamisha hiyo doa again anaweza kupea mtu mwingine that's what we are going to pray tonight that's what we are going to pray tonight yes get ready as we pray Tomorrow I'm talking about the anointing of God. Yes, Agnes, David alito mtoto wa Maraya. Ah. <laughs> uh. There is no way Leo alipenda kwa sababu yeye hey, mwenyewe alipopata watoto wanne alikoma hapa kupata watoto so alikosa kupata watoto tena na kumbuka bado walikuwa na shidana so time aliona hapati watoto na akawa na kuomba Rachel mepeana maid na yeye akapeana wake sababu huwa alikuwa ni maid wake akapeana kwa oh hata mimi nipeane so let's brief God tonight the spirit of rejection haina power kwako haina power kwa watoto wako Haina pao kwa familia yako again juu ya bwanako juu ya watoto wako juu ya wazazi wako Wale ambao mjaolewa believe God baba tukupea ndoa Mzuri And you're going to witness the doings of God right now This is your time this is your day 
Let's brief God as we pray. God is here for you. Kuna watu ambao rai na watu napomba baba na panguza machozi yao. Umelia. Umefunga. Ala kuna kina nambia pasta ni metoa mpaka sacrifice. But I feel like prophesying to somebody tonight as your night you are coming back with the power of testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Wow, wow. na soma testimony hapa wa sister. Sister Noni. We are praying God. Let me tell you. Baba na kuinua tena. Baba na kuinua tena. David was rejected. The same God abaye kubuka David wakati alikuwa amekataliwa au wengine kwa kukuwa na sherehe kukuwa na celebration yeye ako kwa kichaka na ndiye last born ikabidi kusimamisho mambo yote atumaniwe akaja akanointiwa wale ambao walikuwa wamemkataa waka witness i declare and the same god we serve anaweza kuinua katikati ya maandui yako ndivyo baba anasema in the midst of your enemies still anaweza kuinua this is your night oh. this is your night this is your night halaba Shama gota kazi resho la mama zati karaba shandi bozata risho magaraba bozete ketere bazondi garibo shandi gariba bazandi garaba konda bakoze bekaraba shanda maraba risho magaraba bazonde gereba bozata fada go shama mazanda garoba Baba kuna watu ambao wanifuatilia hapa kuna watu ambao wananisikiza wamekataliwa tangiwa wakiwa watoto bwana they are struggling father wamelia wanangangana kindoa wanangangana na watoto waliacho na wao wengine baba waliacho kindoa zilivunjika wengine bwana zao walikufa bwana i pray the grace to hover God Mungu unayoponya mioyo ambayo imewekwa vindoda ponya vidoda baba kafunge vidoda vyao usiku wa leo Baba funga vidoda wengine wana vidoda bwana wengine wamengangana kusamehea wengine baba wanakumbuka ile jambo baba na shindo kufanya kazi but i pray tonight for your grace i pray tonight for your revival i pray tonight for your power i pray to major over god you are doing wonders in the name of jesus christ oh god in the spirit of redemption ambao baba ina hout hawa watu kuandia siku leo ili sipihe 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 na fungo huyu mama ame struggle na watoto wake na wafungurisha mama na katati kwa mambo foundation na break those foundation nations of law na break those foundation of go atikuwa ni majina yao i declare jehovah this is a time unawakumbuka unakumbuka maisha yao unawakumbuka kindoa unawakumbuka kifedha unawakumbuka baba kimasomo hawatangangana tena hawatakuwa jehovah go rimi tena hawakuwa stagnate tena hawatakuwa stabona hawatajikodem tena jehovah go hawatajitukia tena hawataogopa tena oh god let your grace flow 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 let your healing flow jehovah god let your healing flow jehovah god let your healing flow jehovah god you healed joseph you healed david oh god you healed jephi the father you are there for them you are healing them oh god you are delivering them all you are delivering them law you are delivering them jehovah in the oppression in the addiction jehovah god that coming from witchcraft from sorcery jehovah is silence to night na ikarabo koza rerekende makoza rima gata koze mekete mezata rima mazopa kata mazopeke zebekaria shende gere tekete makata makata kama mabose
No more rejection, my father. No more rejection, Jehovah God. Awata katari watenda. Awata katari watenda. Awata katari watenda. They are going to make it in life. Baba netangaza anointing yako. If flow, you are my share. Wale bo hawaja oleka wa oleke. Wale bo jowa nataka kuwa wa oe. Wale bo nangangana my share, Father, we ingrie kati. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Nimetangaza kwa ndiye siku leo, Father. They are covered. They are covered, they are protected, O God. Jehovah restore their souls. The way you restored the soul of David, O God. Restore their souls, O Father. Creating them clean hearts, O God. Jehovah God, renew their minds, O God. Renew their minds, O God. Father. Tumbiyo meo leo tumbie meo safi bwana tumbie meo safi bwana tumbie meo safi jehova ah jesus Unaweza kuwa na foundation maya but we know you as our sure foundation as a tried rock tried foundation nothing can shake you father we when him sing we to Jehovah God ko maisha yetu show our foundation father God Unasema kwamba mizigo yote tuilete kwako father Ya kwamba it and every morning unatumbebea mizigo that masses are new each and every morning oh God I pray for thy masses I pray for thy masses oh Lord Ah Let this night father be their night oh God Let this night be their night father Shababosh shababosh you're doing wonders, O Lord. You're doing wonders, O Lord. Marasha magasa. Natangaza neema juu ya maisha yao. Neema juu ya maisha yao, Father. Nakwambia siku leo, mambo yao yamebadilika, umeonekania, na umewatendea. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Tumeoba na hata kuamini. Amen. 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 Don't kill yourself. You're going to live again. Jesus name. Jesus name. Wala mwana taka kuokoka. Sema Mungu. Karika jina la Yesu Kristo. Ninaamini ufufuo wako. Na kiriko kinyo changu. Na kwamba aiwe Yesu ni Bwana kwani siku ya leo ingia ndani yangu uniongoze na unitawale asante Mungu kwa kunifanya kiumbe kipya katika jina la Yesu Kristo na mimi nimeokoka amen father kuna watu ambao wameokoka in Jesus name wasimamisho kwa neema yako hawa atawairudi nyuma na unaonekania yes name so those who were stagnated because of the because of the spirit of rejection tonight you are being delivered in Jesus name there are so many people Mungu may heal mio yao there are so many people who may heal those zao na biashara zao you are coming again you are rising again you are singing another new song i know there is a verse says there is nothing new under the sun but we don't we don't live under the sun we live above the sun everything about us is new new masses new song new heaven new earth tomorrow we we'll talk about the impact of the anointing of god don't miss that one tomorrow 
saa tano tomorrow in our service saa tano tomorrow and i believe still we are not through na maombi i believe we got to on monday to na time ya maombi sana to wombe kuna issues na feel kwamba we need to continue praying for them on monday kuna issues to mbea God is with you in Jesus name. God bless you all. I love you. <sighs> My number is 0726511792. Mungu bariki sana Mungu muonekanie. Na nimetangaza hautawai kosa. In Jesus name. That's my number. If you getaka to ongeno problem. If una mzigo nasema kwamba mimi nina mzigo. I want to dedicate my family. My business. No problem. Do it. Kile mungu na kuhimiza do it. May God bless you. Me tomorrow. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. You can sign out, you can sign out. God bless you, God bless you. Mungu amariki sana. Ai rina sana speak a word of healing to my dad. Ai rina moyo natangaza your dad by mpona in Jesus name. Your dad amepona James Minor. Thank you, thank you. Sony. Wale ambao ni wagojo wamepona katika jina la Kristo, wale ambao wazazi wao ni wagojo wamepona, wale ambao watoto wao ni wagojo wamepona. Yale mahitaji uko nayo. Wacha baba tena makubwa kwako in the name of Jesus. So is someone to know by the way kwa YouTube you can like my YouTube channel, subscribe mahali pale. Subscribe and uh referred canvas karancha if you are out like page you can like that page unakuwa notified wakati tunahubiri mahubiri bado tujamlizana na revelation we are going back there next week tunaangalia new heaven and new earth what does it mean all that in new heaven in ni gani itakuwa lini ni wapi mimi nakuacha na neno moja usiku wa leo you will live again in Jesus name you will live again in the name of Jesus regardless of what you are going through you will live again glory be to Jesus barikiwa sana tupatane tomorrow tupatane tomorrow shalom